Yo, what's going on? Welcome to Daniel and Gian Talk Shit, Episode 4. I am Gian. Daniel. And today, uh, you know, normally the first three podcasts we've had like specific topics. Today, we're just going to talk about different things in general. Um, talk about Stranger Things. We're going to talk about Zendaya and Beyonce and the MCU. We're going to talk about Colin Kaepernick. Uh talk about other things that's been going on in our, in our life you know uh, we both have lost someone close to us recently in the past few weeks um we we'll discuss that a little bit i'd also like to hear a little bit about uh, daniel's tinder updates that's gonna be fun so uh but before we get started i want to give a big shout out to the homies at blacker than black times infinity specifically prodigy and cronus um you guys have been a big help. Cronus is helping us get the feed on iTunes. We're finally live on iTunes, by the way, guys. So if, if that's your preferred method of podcasting. Uh, yeah, so uh, subscribe and leave reviews. The reviews is actually the most important thing for iTunes. Because the more reviews, the, uh, the more publicizing, I guess you could say, that iTunes does for us. Um, so, yeah. It helps us in the long run. So, for yeah. sure. Re- uh, subscribe, review, uh was it thumbs up? Five stars? I don't know. Five stars. Is it five stars? Okay. Like, if you like it. Like if you drive Uber or Lyft, you know, we always want five stars. Um, but yeah, big shout out to Cronus. Uh, you can follow them all over uh, social media at B then BTI. Um, and Prodigy's like, like our fairy godmother of podcasting right now. He's the guy. Whenever I have any questions, I go to him. He's the one answering pretty much anything when it comes to promoting the show and just content and everything, man. He's been a, a big help. So thanks a lot, guys. Be then BTI, Blacker Than Black Times Infinity. Check out their podcast. Hilarious stuff. Um, so anyways, Daniel, how was your drive today? Uh, today was fine. I worked. So uh, I was working in L.A. So it was a 20-minute drive from there to here. And then we had we had food, so it was... It was good. It was good. It was a good drive. No complaints for me today. Okay. I have no complaints so, today. So normally Sundays, no traffic and uh, food. That's how you make Daniel happy. Yeah. Um, and tell us about uh, how's Tinder going? Um, it's all right. It's okay. I guess it's probably um, the same as last time. No real updates for me personally. Um, so you're saying that Danielle Perez at Diva Deluxe? No, I, I got. I've, I've I've gotten more matches. Fuck you, Danielle. <laughs> I've received more matches, um, but and I've also gotten off app more, but nothing um, in terms of dates yet. But that's okay. That's been a. This is what this week wasn't good to go out anyway for right. me personally. So that's okay. It's. I mean, it's it's better than it was before. I mean, definitely the profile tips have helped um but and i i think i've started back my fuck you daniel <laughs> i'm starting i think i'm starting to understand the game quote unquote right i think i mean because personally i would just not take photos any i've been to fucking thousands of places and it's like what when i'm thinking of like pictures i'm like oh when i was at x y or z if i would have taken a photo it would have made me a million times i've been to those places but i just never took pictures of right. myself there so now I'm being more cognizant of that, where it's like, oh, if I'm, like, I'm going to New York next month, make sure, get some pics. You're going to get, like, a full-on photo sesh going. Right. Just for Tinder. Okay. But, you know, that's, other than that, I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, I've... Find out, like, the major monument that you're supposed to hold up <laughs> or put your finger on top of, because I feel like that's... The stereotypical... A, well, no, I, I... Well, I mean, when I'm swiping through yours, I notice, like, a lot of girls have the same... The wings, they like, have the like wings, or I, like the, the pink Venice, wall, right? the pink wall. Yeah, it's all the same. Or like you know, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the the finger on top of the, the Louvre pyramid in Paris. Uh, yeah, I think people. I, I'm assuming people always do the thing like this too, where they're like, "Hey, look how small this <laughs> huge building." There's a picture I saw online. I don't know if it's fake, but uh, some guy was doing that with the sun, but the sun moved, so he's like holding nothing. <laughs> It was like a sunset or something, but uh, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, it's cool. Like I, I've, I've obviously met more people using the app than I would have not using the app. Right. So I mean, right. it, 
It were yeah. Well, you know what I mean yeah, though. Yeah, I've no, interacted with more people than I would have normally. Okay. Um, so, Still like, a work in progress. Right. I think over time I can see where it's gonna go. Right. I mean, I've only had it a week or two or whatever it's been. Right. Um, I tried weeks. Bumble. I tried Bumble. Okay. What's and that? Bumble's, Bumble's Tinder, but the women have all of the power. Okay. So, so I, don't, I feel like there's no difference. When you, <laughs> well, you can't message them first. Ah. So that when you get matched, it tells you, you have a match. And then they have 24 hours. The girl has 24 hours to respond to you. Right. Or not to respond, but to engage you. And if they don't, the match disappears. Okay. And that's it. I get you. And I think you can pay to like extend it for another 24 hours. I don't. I don't know. So it turns into like one of those Clash of Clans things where you. Keep I, I don't know. You have unlimited swipes and things like that, but I haven't been matched once. Okay. So I don't know. I want. I take that back. I did get one match. Right. And then I think they unmatched me like immediately. Right. But the app kept they telling got like a me. Better look at your face. Right. Okay. The mat. The app told I mean, me. Look at this face. Let's. Now you can see it. Yeah. We're, we're recording this now, so you can see my face. Um. The app told me, oh, you have a match. So I opened it, and it, like, showed me the match. Right. I'm like, okay, she's cool. Everything looks cool. And then I went to go message her. I said or, you have a match. And then, um, no, I accidentally clicked back. Like, I, when I clicked on her profile, I clicked back, but it took me to the main menu. So when I went to go back to the message log to, like, message her, I had forgotten that I can't message first, but I went completely gone. Are you sure that maybe you didn't unmatch her on accident? No, I for sure didn't okay. do that. Because it would remind me like every eight hours, hey, you have a match. Don't forget to message your match. And I w when you'd open it from the phone, it would take you to the message thing again. Right. And you, you can't, like you could message them, but it'll say like, did not, you know, when well, you Well, I don't want to completely damage your, your self-esteem even more. So let's just pretend. Right now it's the same. Let's pretend that she was a bot and she got discovered and that's why her profile like unmatched. I actually had a. She got unlimited. <laughs> I had it. Well, I can't. They they can't see this, but I had an interest. Did I show? Did I did I show you the, the conversation I had with a bot? Yeah. Put your mic closer to your face. I gotta swallow this thing. Apparently. <laughs> I don't know why my mic sounds great. Probably Yours always you're sounds to, shitty. You're trying to fucking have louder volume than me. To see more important. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Either that or you need to talk louder. I guess. I don't know. Sorry, I'm gonna technical fix this, difficulties. Guys. That's fine. Oh, I think I know why. Oh, because this guy's fuckers had me like on super low volume the entire time. That's it. Now that we're better? good. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, good cool. to go. Um, okay, so what was I? Oh, I was gonna show you this conversation. Oh, I think I had matched with her. Oh no, I took a screenshot. I took a screenshot, so I can actually post this on the video. People right. actually, they actually care for shit. Um, let's see. Like, I knew it was a no, bot. No, we're going to post it on the video. Yeah. I knew it was a bot, not at first, but it didn't take me long to figure out it was a bot. Hold on one second. Well, I feel like, you know, when it comes to these things, you have to be, like, really self-aware, you know? Um, because let's be honest, this is... Oh, that's the chick Carlos hooked up with. The, eh. These... Well, <laughs> then he tried to rub it in by sending me that... By sending you those fucking sloppy <laughs> flapjacks. Fuck, I thought I sent it to Carlos. I Sorry, Carlos. If you're going to, like, show people pictures, make sure they don't look like fucking fried eggs. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's mean. <laughs> oh, okay, it's right here. Hurry up, man. This is like... No, I know. I knew it was a bot from the picture, but okay. I hadn't had a bot actually type things out oh what's yours oh cool well for me it's new to meet new people <laughs> like, like like you didn't even answer poop popsicle <laughs> aids <I th> <laughs> yeah you gotta post this i'm yeah. going to it's hilarious yeah. but what do you look for in a woman aids <laughs> i think i have some qualities you may like you have aids <laughs> i don't know it's funny to me i mean there's like a level of self-awareness like these the messed up thing about the, the online dating is like they're they're like 110 percent superficial like you can't use your personality to charm people anymore <coughs> where you know 
Why Whereas before, like, if you met, well, yeah, I know you have that going against you too. You know, you're like a negative five, but that's okay. We're working on it. We want to get you up to like a zero. Zero, yeah. Yeah, out of the negative. Well, zero. a one. A one. A one would be you, nice. You can't multiply zero by anything. Right. It's just zero. Exactly. So. But a ten times a one is, is a, a ten. A ten. So. So no, I get it. I get it. But no, I mean, this is the kind of the sad thing about it is that, like. I know in real life there's guys out there that are like not good looking at all with good looking women and vice versa, you know, because they had a chance to like really interact with each other. Like maybe they were coworkers or they went to school together or whatever. Yeah, they had to meet on Tinder where yeah. they had fucking one opera like the first message. Right. If you even get that swipe. Right. Yeah. So like you had a you had a chance to endear your you, you have a chance to endear the yourself. The courting to process is different. In person, yeah. But now it's kind of like, oh, I don't like the shirt he's wearing. Um, his hair is stupid. I he's can't Mexican. see his shoes right now, but I bet you he's wearing terrible shoes. Yeah, he's Mexican, Mexican, <laughs> Mexican, Mexican. You know, I, I get it. No, it's uh, it's uh, it's rough. So you can't take it personally, man. That's I don't. You know, like I said, my 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 position hasn't changed. Okay. So. Okay. Just making sure. Um, how about your week, man? Tell me about your week other than the, uh, the awful stuff. Like, um, I mean, I got a story. You already know about it. We talked about it. But, um, we'll so start with your story. I don't really have too many stories. I, I started this week. I started work at my, uh, my TV job. and Nashville. And um, on the way back from a pickup, I'm trying to get on the 405. Tell everyone what a pickup is. Not drugs, people. Oh, when I'm doing a pickup, like I was, uh, I was picking up some archive drives. We have, they always want all the episodes from the previous seasons just in case they need to reuse like a master shot or something. So just to save money. Um, or if someone else, like a producer wants like a high res copy of. So you work in Burbank and then they'll send you to Santa Monica. Actually, it's the other way around. I work in Santa Monica. I had to oh. go to Burbank. Okay. Well, yeah. So the studios will send him all around town to pick up hard drives full of footage, essentially. Or drop stuff off, you know, as well. I mean, it's really not that not interesting. Drugs. Not, drugs. not drugs. Not drugs. If that's why we're segueing into yeah. that. Because um, the, guy, the, the, the guy that you interacted with could have been on drugs. He could have been on drugs. Well, I didn't technically even interact with him. <laughs> he interacted with um, you. So I'm getting on the 405. I'm, like, waiting for the 101 at the interchange. Um, and... I see in my side view, this guy's coming pretty fast. I'm like, whatever. And the fucker side swipes me. Like, literally just, like, I didn't, like, I felt the impact on my car. My car kind of moved to the side, and my side view snapped off. And the guy slows down for a minute, and I'm looking, and I'm trying to get over, but I don't have a side view, and I was, like, still kind of in shock, so I didn't, like, think about sticking my head out the window, although if another guy comes by, he could have taken my fucking head off. And sure enough, like, the guy waits, like, two seconds and then he's like well fuck this guy drives off on the freeway and that's that so that was my uh that was my experience of the week so um, he's he's uh he's putting a, a hand mirror as his, as his driver's side mirror now yeah yeah he's mexican in it that's definitely a mexican way of going like it is you, you i know it, i know a lot of mexicans who do you it tape it to a coat hanger and then you jam the coat hanger in the inside, little hole and, and then fucking tape it some more on the outside and then you're like oh yeah it's good <laughs> it's good it's perfect it's perfect it no, works. don't worry it works it works i works you know that's that's okay whatever we go you know that's that's it that's it's fine. cheap it's cheap it's cheap you know it's old car who cares See, we're brown. We can do that. It's not on the warranty. We can talk like this. It's we okay. Can. It's all right. We can. Um, but uh, so, yeah, man, that was. Uh, yeah, I, I have a car story, too, where I was with my younger cousin and we were driving up a hill in San Pedro to go to my grandma's house. And it's a fucking hill, like with a nice incline, too. It's not like a little like like an actual incline. And I was driving up the hill at like 35 miles an hour which I think the speed limit's like 30. So I was right. already going over the speed limit. And this dude in a Subaru was literally on my ass, like as close to my ass as you could possibly be. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what's your rush? Right. Like, I, that's how I am regardless if I'm on the freeway or whatever. If I'm going over the speed limit and you're like on my ass, go around me. I'm not going to move 
Well, in a residential, you really couldn't move, right. right? It's a one. It's one lane. Right. So you can't. I couldn't do anything. So I just let my foot off the gas. I didn't brake jack him. I just let my foot off the gas, and the dude proceeds to go around me, in the opposite lane, and literally starts driving into me, to like drive me off the road. Right. And I'm just, and he's like flipping me off, honking his horn. And I'm just like, you could have easily gone around me by now, but now you're being more of an asshole than ever. Right. And then he went around me like nothing happened. I, I wish he would have gotten an accident. But, and then he proceeded to do it with like two more cars. And it's just like, that type of shit annoys me where it's like, well, where the fuck are the cops? No, they're never there moments, for that. They're... In those moments when you have fucking some white dude who's fucking crazy doing that shit. But then if you're like doing anything out of the ordinary... A like cop jaywalking. Will, a cop will come out of nowhere to get make sure you know whatever the fucking. You know when we were at USC, there was always. Oh cops yeah, those stupid. At the four way. The four way, like as if that really fucking was gonna stop the system that some fucking college kids were using the four way stop after the walk guy turned off. Oh, please come on. Right. It's so stupid. Like who? Or no, no, no. It wasn't even that. It was them riding their bikes. Across the street. Oh yeah, that's what they were getting busted to get off your bike. You're supposed walk to walk bike. your bike. Oh okay, really? Because that's so fucking important that you walk your bike well, on it's a, a college safety campus. Game. You know, it's got to. You know, if I'm in a vehicle and I run you over on a bike, you're fucked. I'm gonna run you over on foot too. Oh yeah. Like, it doesn't make it any less. Like the chances of me running you over aren't dramatic. They don't increase because you're on a. Like I actually think it's because they don't want people on the bikes running into pedestrians. Have you? Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say, have you gotten hit by a bike? But I have, so whatever. <laughs> no, whatever. Who cares? When whatever. I was at UCSB. Um, it's a part of the experience. If you don't get hit by a bike, you're not a student. Right. When I was at UCSB, I got into so many, like, I didn't get into any fights, but I got into, like, real, like, people I got close you. enough fights with people on bikes. Because they, fucking, they just... fucking own the roads in Isla Vista. So I'm trying to park my car to go to class, and you got these fuckers just ripping by, just whoo, whoo, just left and right in front oh, of you. You have to go to the bike sl- lane to park. No, your car? no, you're not in the bike lane at all. Like in the middle of the street, these guys are just, and then they'll fucking turn around and give you a dirty look. Like one time, <laughs> this little like 115 pound kid from fucking Orange County. I don't even know where he's from. He gets in the Probably way. Orange he fucking County. like he fucking stares me down, and that was that. Like I was like, are you fucking serious? I fucking like chased him down until he went in an alleyway. <laughs> And he took off. Like, I was ready. Like, I got road rage with a fucking bicyclist. That reminds, me of, bicyclist. Uh, that reminds me of a certain story that I won't tell, but oh. 290. Oh. Don't push my buttons. That's all. I have a limit. Oh. I've, I've, I've experienced the limit twice, and both times were hilarious to me. <laughs> both times. Actually, it was twice in one night, and then it was, the, it was Weekender when you, like, when you threw the menus in that guy's face. Oh. Because he wanted to charge you like $5 for a taco. Right. For a soft taco. And all I said was, what? And he like lost his shit. And he started t- speaking. He's like, you can get the fuck out of here in Spanish. And then you're like, Pfft. it was funny. But anyway. It happens. It does. It's funny to me. Um, so, yeah. Didn't you want to Didn't you want to say something about uh, Amazon and eBay or something? You're, you're- so, as you guys can see, we're on lobs again today. Well, you haven't been able to see it before, but we've been recording all the podcasts, with the exception of last week, uh, on Lavaliers, because I purchased microphones and they haven't come yet. Uh, they haven't arrived from Amazon. And, it, you know, it's kind of fucking annoying that I spend, whatever, $108 now for Amazon Prime. I think back in the day it was like 60 bucks, but now it's 100 because you have all these extra things, well, which when I you, use. When you had the college uh, oh, yeah, that's what it email, was. you got half Regardless. Price. On my spec, I live in a gated community. I live in a townhome, so they have to like input a code to get into my thing, right? Right. So when, at first, they wouldn't get in, and they'd be like, "Oh, we we missed your delivery." Cool, I get it. I'm not gonna because they use Amazon likes to use OnTrack. They don't like to use UPS or USPS. Right. For me specifically, and I for those who aren't familiar with OnTrack, it's like an independent company. That gets outsourced. Like all the packages go to USPS or something like that, and then OnTrack will pick them up from the post office. It's like Postmates essentially. And I've had terrible experience with them. So OnTrack, if you're listening, fuck you guys, and you know it too, because I've complained on the phone with you guys 
you guys are fucking all assholes <laughs> and you don't give a shit about your customers. Well, they like to use smart posts too, and that sucks as well. Because once well, it gets past the I'd rather FedEx... have smart post than fucking on track. That's O N T R A C. Fuck you guys. They're fucking assholes. Actually, I bought, side note, I bought microphones and $1,000 mics, lobs actually, and I literally watched the fucking deliverer, delivery guy, some fucking Mexican with this cool ass Mustang, which is a piece of shit, and you know you, can't, you couldn't afford it, literally take my packages out of the trunk of his car and then fucking throw them on the floor and kick them all the way to my front door. And then when I called on track, it took them, I called them like every day for two weeks straight and it took them two weeks for them to even acknowledge what happened. And at that point, I mean, the mics were broke. I had to return them. They were like, well, we can't do anything about it. Luckily, Amazon's fucking awesome. And they were like, all right, we'll just give you your money back. Right. But I felt like OnTrack should have fucking done something. Absolutely. Oh, we'll, we'll reprimand the per Yeah, I fucking doubt it. You probably don't even know who fucking did it. Like, that's, it was just so fucking stupid. So he was doing deliveries in his personal car? Yeah, that's on track. Oh, so it is Postmates. It's basically there. Postmates. Okay. There's, sometimes there's on track, like, vans. Right. But all the on track delivery, I watched people deliver my shit. And they're all in their own personal vehicles. But anyway. I feel like I don't need to clarify this, but I'm going to clarify it anyways. Postmates, for those in. I've noticed for our uh, numbers on, or the, whatever the, what's it been called? The Social analytics, the analytics, analytics on YouTube and all these other places. Like we have people in other countries that have listened to the podcast a handful of times. Um, Postmates is just like Uber or Lyft, but instead of picking people up, they, they'll deliver anything. They'll go to the store and buy you a bottle of booze and then take it to your house. Or, yep, and you just pay them. Yeah. Well, you you buy the booze or whatever, and then you pay them a little, the, like a tip, right? Like that's it's all factored in or something. I think so. Yeah. I've never used it. I've never used it either. But no, I take that back. I did. Use, I personally didn't use it, but I've been with people who have used it. Last time I used it, bought like hundred fifty dollars worth of sushi. <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, so back to my mic thing. So um, after the first few deliveries, they were like, "Oh, it's undeliverable," and so I call Amazon. What the fuck? You know, I pay for Prime, and now I'm getting my packages four or five days late. And they're like, oh, it's because they can't get in the gate. So there's, and I didn't know this at the time, but there's an option like on Amazon where you can like, if you have a gate code or anything, you can put it on the order. Right. So they have it. So there's basically no excuse at that point. Right. Last two or three deliveries, same fucking shit. Oh, we can't. Yeah. So like, that's why we're on lobs right now. I purchased some good dynamic mics with the windscreens and everything like that so we could sit down and have a nice podcast it sounds great but they haven't fucking delivered them and it's really fucking irritating and i have to call them again because they keep telling me it's at the post office and i've gone to the post office they don't have shit it's like a default message that amazon sends but they don't really like it's it, anyway right. that's that's my amazon rant it's not really amazon it's on track amazon's great but on track's not they're fucking fuck on track shit. yeah fuck them all right anyways let's get into the good stuff then so, um, I feel like unless you are <coughs> living under a rock, by now you have at least heard of the Netflix exclusive series, Stranger Things. For those of you that haven't, this is new, you haven't watched it, I mean, fuck man, I don't know what you're doing with your life, I guess maybe you're like outside and doing like active shit. Which isn't cool. Which isn't cool at all, because you're making the rest of us look bad, you know, with your, you know, worship of Mother Nature and being in shape and shit. Yeah. Um, but, we, you know, we'll talk about that another time. But Those people are the ones who are getting swipes on Tinder. Oh. They're swiping because they're, like, hiking. <laughs> and they're taking pictures of their hike, which is, I don't know. I feel like if I'm out hiking, I'm not going to take a picture of myself. Well, that's why I never take pictures. You know. If I'm fucking you're a sweaty out, fucking mess. Well, no. I mean, I don't do you physical don't. activity, but I'm just saying, if I'm, like out like in Crater Lake in Oregon. I'm at Crater Lake in Oregon. I don't need to take a fucking picture. I'm, ex I'm experiencing the moment. Well, you should take a picture of yeah. Crater Lake. Well, Maybe I not take you of in it. front No, of I have Crater plenty Lake. of pictures of yeah. the places I've been. Right. And like the, <laughs> the last pictures I have Maybe of Maybe that's me. your strategy is like you only show the places you've been to and then people are like, oh my God, he's so traveled. Yeah, well, you could just say, they could just say you went on, that's assuming they fucking didn't swipe left immediately. Right. <laughs> but... No, like the last pictures I have of myself actually somewhere, it was in high school. Right. 
Now, when you look like a little Inuit woman. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what Michael called me, a little Indian woman. All right. I thought it was an Eskimo. An Eskimo, whatever. That's why it's I said Inuit because I was like same thing. Getting it's all the same. Getting thing. like a precise. I mean, if I shaved, if I shaved, I would look like I'm in high school. Okay. So I, I could theoretically still use those pictures. And then you could like start picking up on the 17 year olds that are saying they're 22. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That's a no. That's a thing. They'll put profile like 27, and then on their description it says actually 18. LOL. It's like when you sign up for Facebook. Oh. Cause that's so they've had a Facebook since they were like five. So yeah, so the way the way Tinder works is you sign in from Facebook, and then Facebook gathers all of your information, your okay. age, your interests, whatever. Right. So, you know, most people put their real birth dates. Right. Most people, unless, like you said, there's people who are like, oh, I'm seven, I need a Facebook, so I'm gonna be. 13 because that's absolutely like absolutely have no reason none for but Facebook, but this right. day and age everyone has a Facebook and it's right. fucking stupid but that's the that's the truth so now when they're 18 and they sign up for Tinder they're 25 or whatever right. it's just but anyway um stranger things stranger things so it's a i don't remember the name of the where's carlos our internet guy not uh, here. I know it's it's it was created and directed by some brothers. The uh, the uh, the Duffy brothers, I believe. I'm gonna brothers? look it up. Okay, I believe it it's the Duffy brothers. All right, look it up. Um, anyways, it's like a sci-fi show, but it's retro. Like it takes place sometime in the '80s, like mid '80s, because there's Atari 2600 comes out. So I'm guessing like early to mid, like no later than 1985. Duffer, um, Duffer brothers. Duffer brothers. Okay. Duffer brothers. Um, Matt really Duffer, cool Ross sci-fi Duffer. has like a real like i don't know for you for me personally it had like a real like like i'm a, listening i'm gonna check the camera make sure we're still rolling it had a uh had like a real uh like a spielberg feel almost you know definitely like that, there's there's definitely like homage to to et at one point they're riding bikes um which is really cool i felt like also the goonies kind of had a goonies feel to it everything 80s it was yeah, like it everything was like 80s. super 80s but like cool like the good stuff about 80s movies with the modern twisted, I mean, um, and the story's about, uh, so this kid, there's like these four kids, they're best friends, they like to play Dungeons and Dragons because they're fucking nerds. Because uh, Dungeons and Dragons is cool. No, it wasn't cool back then, it's not cool now. Uh, you, did you play D&D? No. Okay. I really didn't. All right. I, was gonna say, I played Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, well, you were like five when yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh came out. When no, did you I stop? wasn't five. How old were you when you stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't know. I think I was like in fifth grade. Okay, that's not bad. Whatever. It I, wasn't middle school though, for well, sure. Well, you were the same age as these kids. Yeah. Mm. They were like 11, 12. Sure. At the oldest. Sure. Um, uh, they they played Dungeons and Dragons. They're kind of social outcasts. Like total, like the whole 80s, like. Yeah, they got picked on at school. They got picked on at school. The one kid who has no teeth, no front teeth, because he has uh, some disease or something. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I don't know what part of what. I don't remember what movie the kid didn't have front teeth because he had a condition was. In no, it. it's Stranger Things. No, I'm saying in the 80s, though. Oh, I don't though, know. That's like a, well, it was like an 80s trope is what I'm saying. Well, there's, I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're weirdos. Yeah, they're, they're weirdos. They're like in Indiana. Or, was it Indiana? I think they're in Indiana. I, I believe they're in Indiana. Anyways, they're it's like. In America. They're in the they're Midwest in state. Um, and uh, their best friend goes missing. And their mom, played by Winona Ryder, it's going nuts trying to find him. And they're like starting to feel kind of suspicious too because it's like, this was weird. He's, he never does this. Um, and then while they're looking for him because he disappears in the woods, they come across, well, not the one guy. It's the one guy, right? The main kid comes across this girl with a shaved head who can't speak. Like she can say one word at a time. And you don't know she's a girl. Technically, you don't know she's they, a girl. They try at to first. hide. I, I figured she was a girl almost immediately, because the Dark Knight Rises. But okay, but that's another that's another thing. Okay, so it's a little girl, and there's something peculiar about her because she can't talk. She's the same age as the boys, um, and then crazy shit starts happening, um, and they figure out that this little girl has powers, um, and that there's like a, a, a nether region, like like a parallel universe 
or another dimension. Would you call it a universe or a dimension? I'd say it's another dimension. It's another dimension. It's like the exact same place, but it's like covered in this like ash and like everything's like in slow motion. I forget what they call it. Um, it's been a, I, I watched it when it first came out. It's called like the dark world or something. That, I'll have to look that up too. Um, Cause I don't want to sound stupid. I know what it is, I'm just forgetting. Like there's no light in this place. It's all dark, but it like kind of mimics what's going on in the real world and in this parallel uh, dimension. It was in Indiana, to answer the previous. It was not in Indiana? Yeah, it takes place in Indiana. Um, there's like this fucking crazy demon looking thing um, who kidnapped a kid in the first place and the kid's like crafty enough and smart enough to run away from him the entire time and make contact with the, with the, the regular Elle, world. that's the girl's name too. Well, it's Eleven, her yeah. name's Eleven. They call her Elle. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm explaining this shit, you guys have probably already watched it, whatever, but I liked it, I really enjoyed it. I'm a big fan of 80s movies, those are like my favorite movies. Um, John Hughes stuff, Spielberg stuff, George Lucas stuff, like, um, those are the shit, especially the little kid stuff. I mean, that's the stuff I, you know, you relate to the most. A lot of those movies are the ones that we watch. They nailed after the school. kids. They nailed the kids. Yeah, the kids and are on the point. most. In, it's called the upside down. The upside down. That's the other world. Right, because right, the teacher, the physics teacher, kind of like explains like explains like the possibility of it happening of an alternate universe and yeah, all that and how it would have to work or how you'd get into the other side. <coughs> um, but it had like funny moments. It had it nailed all the the, the bully stuff. It nailed, you know, the music was good. Uh, the soundtrack, great. I mean, the, the the intro music, the, the the title sequence is great. It's great. It's awesome. Uh, Actually, it's like one of the best. Like, when I saw the title sequence for the first episode, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm watching this. Like, yeah. this is cool. It's like, well they, made. They, they made sure to, like, call it back. To, they nailed all their callbacks. Absolutely. Whether, like, there's videos online where you can see, like, here's close, here's, like, where they got their influence from Close Encounters and like you said, E.T. and then like other like 80s movies that I'm not thinking of right now. Firefly, Firefly, I think is one of them. I don't know. But anyway, like there's You're a lot. the one with uh, Drew Barrymore, Firestarter. Yeah, Firestarter. Like yeah. there's, so there's a lot of those. So like if you, for me, even though I was born in the 90s, I grew up on those movies. That's what I grew up on. So for me, it's still nostalgic. And then- I feel like Firestarter was a very big part because they were, a, uh, almost the same character. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why I said Firefly. I must be thinking of the Joss Whedon thing. But Fire was in the title. But no, it was, it was, I thought it was great. They nailed the, ch- the kids, because if they didn't nail the kids, the show wouldn't work, period. Like, the I'm, show's about the kids. 100%. Yeah. That's why Super 8 to me is great, because JJ nailed the kids. And, you know, I mean, I love Super 8. So it also has a Super 8 vibe, because Super 8 was also a nostalgia movie for the 80s and stuff. But uh, no, it was, and it was, what I liked about it, it was eight episodes. It was short, sweet, to the point. If it's going to get renewed, but if it somehow didn't, it would still work as like a contained right. story. It doesn't necessarily need a season two, but I'll watch season two because they, the. I mean, season two can explain a lot. Like, we. The, the we creators have, have said there will be a season two. We have no idea what the upside down is at all. Really, you know, how it works. Even like, they spent. I, of the eight hours, because it was all about an hour long episode, <coughs> each episode was an hour long, I would say like they spent maybe 15 minutes total. In there, yeah. And yeah. most of it was towards the very, very end. Exactly. When you kind of have to be there, because all the characters end up there. Spoilers. Um, but no, but I mean, even if it did end... Yeah, no, it would be fine. You, would, you wouldn't be like, oh, this yeah. blah. It ends, it bookends well. I mean, Ranger Rick is leaving the egos there, so he knows something that we don't. And then, but it, even then, that's like enough for us to feel right. like satisfied. Right, absolutely. And then the very, very end, too, with the boy. I mean, I really don't need to see the creation of it. I mean, I kind of like, I like the, the having mystery the, element is, it works. Yeah, and I like having theories. Like, everyone has their own theory about it. You don't know. You never yeah. know. They and don't ex- they, it's they fun explain. To they explain enough to where you're never confused or never like, oh, I'm angry. Why? Well, I don't fucking get it. That's like to me. That's the worst. Right. When you feel, when you watch something and then you come away feeling stupid. Everything makes sense within its universe. Right. Because the stuff they great. left out wasn't necessarily essential to the story. It's uh. essential, but it's essential in your mind. Like your mind. Right. Is, it's backstory. Right. It's competent enough where you're like, okay, I don't need to know who created this upside down universe. Or maybe no one created it, or you know, 
it is what it is, and you just accept it. You take that leap of faith, and they don't throw too many curveballs at you where it's like, okay, and, and now the characters can shoot fireballs out of their ass and whatever. And right. Like, it's just, it's contained to the uniqueness of what it's going to be, and Absolutely. I, I liked it. Um, but, yeah, they said they're... They said that like this is definitely part one of a, a bigger thing. Right. And I think I was reading maybe I don't know if it was this show. I hope they don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, I hope not either. Yeah. But you never know. But I think it was this show. Maybe I'm th- confusing them. But I, they want to make. A video game. To lead into like the second season. But uh, I might be thinking of a different. I might be thinking of a different. Are. Show. I mean, unless it's like because I know they're Mr. If it's Robot, like an eight-bit like Nintendo throwback game. Then maybe it might be fun. Mr. Robot's making a vi- they're making a video game for Mr. Robot. Oh, are they? Yeah. Um, I have to watch that so that we can discuss it. Mr. Robot's great. Apparently, Mr. For Robot for certain is, moments is that I fucking shit. hate. So when you watch it, I'm gonna just totally blast it. Okay. Because it's great until it becomes ungreat, and then it's so fucking good. That I'm like, oh, dude, this is fucking awesome. Like, this is the the pilot's great. It's amazing. And then they do one thing that dropped your boner. It it didn't it no it didn't drop a boner. It gave me a vagina. Oh, that's even worse. Like my boner inverted. Okay. And the show fucked me. So now you're post op. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, but you it was it you was. You haven't started taking hormones yet because no. you still have hair on your face right. and shit. Right. You know. But it was no, and then. It was, and it made me mad. I, I was just like, I can't watch the show anymore. But I was like, but it was so fucking good. So I watched the final episode. I haven't started season two yet because I'm still skeptical about like whether, what happens, the twist, I can't talk about it, but the twist is so fucking annoying to me that it made me almost not even want to finish the season, let alone start another season. And right. I'm, still on, I'm still on the fence about it. And I want to watch the second season because like I said, the first eight or nine episodes. I don't know when the twist happens. I forget, but it's towards the end of the first season. Right. So fucking good that it like, but that's how fuck that. Uh, when you watch it, you'll probably know exactly. We're going to have to is. figure out who's going to watch what next. Cause you need to watch the six episodes of fucking the get down. Well, right. yeah, no, I, I feel I'm, like I'm surprised you haven't watched it. Cause it's like well, totally up your alley. Well, Cause things. I like, I like, uh, whatever his name is. Boz or whatever how do you pronounce his name because you like Boz Lerman you don't yeah. want to watch it no no I'm saying you're saying that I would like it because I like it no it has more to do with like the whole like ethnic you know it's a it's a black See, I still don't Hispanic even know show. what it, I still don't even know what, what it's about well it's a show about like the origins of hip-hop in the Bronx um, is there titties no no well, no and it doesn't need it you know well I'll watch I mean it. there's some good looking I'm gonna watch there, it but. I'm gonna watch it but I feel like I mean, and it's got the the kid from Fr- uh, not fresh, dope. The kid from dope. Oh, the the main guy. Yeah, Shamik Moore. He's in it. Um, I, I mean, I'll watch. I'll watch the show. Like I'll probably watch the show this week. Okay. Um, and then we can talk about it on the next one. Well, you should watch Mr. Robot. Okay. Because I would I, try. Like Mr. right now, right now I'm heated because I'm just thinking about Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. Okay. Well, let, let's talk. Go back to Stranger Things. Um, let's see what else I like. I like the sheriff. <coughs> I really liked how they did the sheriff. How He's in he, Suicide Squad too. Isn't he in Suicide Squad for like five seconds? Yeah. though? like I don't give a yeah, fuck. Yeah, but I didn't. I because of Stranger Things, I'm like, oh look, that's the guy from from uh, Stranger Things. I don't fucking remember him in anything else. I know I've seen his face before. Well, he's got one of those faces. But I don't, you know, that's his breakout role for sure. Like he's gonna get more work because of Stranger Things right. for sure. And I mean, he was one great. of my favorite parts about Stranger Things was the the first episode. When she breaks out and that fucking bald guy at the diner is like kind of weirded out and he calls child services. Oh, the fucking, the cook? Yeah. Well, he owns the diner. Yeah. Yeah. And the lady shows up and, and he's like, oh, she's right back here and boom, just pops. I'm like, I was like, whoa, this is not an 80s movie right now. Like that's modern shit right there. Like every 80s movie had stuff that you, you could watch with kids, you know. Yeah, it was pretty violent. Yeah. And now like right off the get, I was like, oh, shit. And they really don't explain her either. Okay, it's on. Like, you, it's, they leave that a mystery, too. Well, you don't need to know. Like, once you oh, find no, out who I'm she's not, working for, it's just like... I'm not saying it's a bad thing. That lets you know that that agency is fucked up. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying that's a good thing. Right. That these people, the suits, the suits in the movie are not to be trusted. Or right. in the show. 
and they set that up. They don't know why they're not to be trusted. You and you kind of really don't know why, like what's going. You still that's the thing that's great about it. Towards the end, they like start looking at newspaper clippings and everything, like to try to piece it together. They still don't know why. The true reasons as to why they're studying everything. Well, I feel like my theory is like they hired all these college kids to do a bunch of drugs, and then one of them accidentally got pregnant, or a couple of them did, and then they notice like the the side effects from the the LSD that these kids are dropping with the kids or something, you know? Or they were feeding them the LSD on purpose. See, I don't even know where this LSD thing is. They, they talk, they talk it. about it. Yeah, it's in there. Like, there's a newspaper clipping talking about uh, whatever the whatever Ma- See, that's Matthew my problem Modine's, with that's uh, my problem with fucking binge watching too. Sometimes it's you miss those little things. It, I mean, obviously, it might be a big thing, and people listening might be like, "He missed that? Was he fucking retarded?" Like, but no, you that's binge watch. <laughs> well, maybe no, maybe. But I feel like sometimes when you binge watch and you're like five or six episodes back to back to back, and all of a sudden like kind of goes over you because at some point I'll binge watch like the first two episodes I might not do anything but like whoosh. but then like three episodes oh yeah I'm putting another one on and then like oh I might open my phone for a second whereas the first two I didn't do that but then right. the third one I might take my phone out right might reply to a text or fucking whatever yeah and then all of a sudden you're not on your phone the whole time but you know those 15 seconds. You're not 100% committed to the right, show. Right, but you're binge watching. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of a problem sometimes. Like, because when I'm watching Game of Thrones once a week, I'm watching fucking Game of Thrones once a week. My right. phone's to the side. Like, I'm not like, oh, Battle of the Bastards. Oh, let me, let me, uh, let me do this. Like, no, I'm fucking, my attention's on the TV. You're dedicated to it. Right. Because it's just an hour. But, but yeah, I don't, yeah, so this LSD thing, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. But I do remember the newspaper clippings. But I mean, that still doesn't, like talk about the origins of like the upside down and like where that comes from. Well, I mean, that's the question. Like maybe she gains these powers and she creates it or she finds like her, she is, her abilities allow her to make that tear in the fabric of the, in the, the time and space continuity, uh, continuum. Maybe. The space time continuum is what I'm trying to say. And that is where that creature comes out of nowhere. So you think the creature is her? I don't know. I don't know if I believe. I know I've I've heard that. Like that's a theory. <coughs> I've never heard this that's theory. Actually I don't read theories, so um, I do, but not for this show. Um, I, I I think that there's a parallel universe or a parallel dimension, and she she made a fucking portal between it and that other dimension. Is no good. It's all bad over there for whatever it's reason. It's all bad. You know, R. it's R. a negative space. It's like the negative space that the Fantastic Four in the comic books. R. I. P. Discovered. To, what's you know. her name? Meg? No, not Meg. Barbara. The, Barbara. Bass. R.I.P. Barb. Um, they said she's going to get a redemption story in season two. That's stupid. She's dead. Not redemption story, but they're going to like... I mean, she was kind of a cool character, and then she dies, and then you kind of just forget about her. You know, I don't... Was she really a cool character? She was just like... She was another 80s trope. She was like the, the nerdy... I mean, like, I didn't give a shit. Like, know, it didn't matter to me. She was kind of the horror movie chick, too. You know, like, any, whenever you have sex, you die. You know, they say Except that. Except she didn't have sex. No, she didn't. That's what I'm saying. But she was like the good girl, like, warning people, like, don't do it. Because she knew. She knew whatever. Fuck it. Look up that character's name, man. I, the Barbara. older sister, she knew the older sister was going to get taken to pound town. By the, that's one thing that kind of bothered me was that that fucking... The jockey guy, like, redeemed himself. Oh, fucking, what's his name from uh, Parks and Rex? Uh, John Ralphio. That's not John Ralphio. I know, but it looks like him. I guess. I, uh, no, not I guess. They just posted, I forgot what late night show just posted a video. I mean, they had the both, had the big stupid well, hair. Do you, do you haven't seen the video I'm talking about? No. So there's a video where he does an interview, the guy who plays John Ralphio. Right. And he's like, I'm not going to confirm anything. But there's rumors going around that I'm like whatever the character's name's father or something like that. Right. And he was like, because <laughs> they look the same. They do. They look the same. Like when I first saw him, like they look fucking. T- what do you want me to look up? The name of the character. Of Barbara? No, not Barbara. Her friend, the, the main girl. Barbara's dead. The girl's still alive. Oh. Um, uh. See. Those little things like that, like what, like the kid, that the older brother who's going crazy. She's not considered a main cast. Why, uh, why is she? Why is he like 
such a, a reject at school? Is it because he's poor? Oh, like the, they kind of touched on Winona's, the Winona's yeah. kid. Um, you know, I mean, not saying that bothered me. I was just like, I found that interesting. Like, they didn't really like Nancy. He didn't do Nancy. Yeah, Nancy, that slore. Steve Harrington is is uh, John Ralphio's son. Okay, Steve Harrington. I've never seen him in anything other than this, or maybe I have. His name's Joe. Joe. Joe Keery. But that that was kind of like eh. You know, I figured... Natalia like, Dyer is Nancy Wheeler's name in real life. I mean, what do you think? I'm just saying, like, she ends up with the bully guy because he <laughs> comes back and helps, but I felt like there was, they were building a connection between... I, I, I'm glad... Honestly, I'm glad that she ended up back with John Ralphio's son. I'm just going to call him. That's what I'm calling him. I hope that's his name in the Parks and Recs. It's John Ralphio. Yeah, it's John it? Ralphio. Yeah, because I was like... They were getting connection, like Nancy and the, the fucking reject kid, right. right? Yeah, they were getting that connection. And in an 80s movie, and in an 80s movie, they probably would have ended up together. Exactly. But I, I just, for this, I was like, this is, that's fucking stupid. Because clearly, she really liked the dude, Joe. Right. She really liked Joe. That's why she gave it up. She, yeah, but I mean, she really liked it because like, that's what she wanted to do. And Joe kind of wasn't really that much of a douchebag compared to his friends. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, he had to act the part. But then when kind of push came to shove, after you got the shit kicked out of him, it kind of, like, things changed a little bit. Right. Which, so there was a redeeming... I guess I did read an article that he was never supposed to have, like, this arc of, like, this right. redemption. He was just going to be that guy, the 80s trope. And then... He kind of started helping her out. I mean, they brought him and back he, in and a he creative redeemed way, himself. Yeah. So in that aspect, it's like, okay, because in my mind, in reality, like if this chick's really into Joe, he's never gonna fuck. It. She she would never drop Joe for some fucking weirdo. See, that's where my shallow thing comes in because I didn't think Joe was that handsome in the first place. Well, I'm not saying that, but you I'm know. just saying like. And I'm saying weirdo kid wasn't that like they were they were on the same they were both like sixes. You know, maybe soft sevens, you know. So it wasn't like, and the guy wasn't even an athlete. Like, he was going to go watch other he people play sports. He had a sports, sports jacket. He didn't go and play, though. He had a letterman, though. Yeah, he had a letterman. He probably had a nice car. He probably did, like, cross country or he something. He had a BMW, I think, so. I, okay, they had rich parents, <laughs> and he was on the fucking racquetball team or the what, badminton team in Indiana, so there's only two people on the fucking team in the first place. And they only played five other schools, and the nearest school is like 80 miles away. Okay, he was an athlete in that respect. All I'm saying is... If you don't play baseball, football, or basketball, you ain't shit, okay? Maybe that's Even the wrestlers two. who are the toughest that's guys at school, okay? Maybe that's season two. You know, except for Vision Quest, when, when fucking wrestling mattered in high school. I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I like that he ended up... They ended up together. Now, whether or not they're going to stay together, that's another thing. But... Because everything kind of fell into place at the end, too. Like, the brother wasn't, like, disheartened and, like, he didn't feel betrayed that he went with the other guy. Yeah, but, you know... She went with the other guy. He's already kind of a pussy, so... He didn't let his inner George McFly come out, all right? (laughs) So you think it should have been... They should have ended up together? You get your damn hands off for Biff. You think they should have ended up together? I wouldn't have been mad about it. I was like, eh. I'm just nitpicking. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It didn't destroy it. Okay. And I, for the record, was completely fine with Winona Ryder's performance. That's another big one that everyone seems to be complaining about. I thought she was fine. She was okay. good. She was good enough for me. I, I didn't have, you know, I, did she blow my mind? Not necessarily, but she wasn't bad. She didn't, like, make the show suck. Oh, no. I mean, she, she was good. She was good. I, she fit the role. For me, she didn't blow it out of the park where it was like, oh, where's her, where's her Emmy? But her role didn't need that. So I feel like she fulfilled exactly what she needed to do. I'm not saying she flew at home and she just fucking... She, you right. could tell she put on her acting chops. She put it all into it. And she was there 100% of the time. Right. I'm just... And I, my problem, quote unquote, isn't with her. It's with the writing for her character. Right. Because they didn't really give her much to do other than play that like crazy mom. Which is, like I'm saying, she nailed it. She, it, she def, it wasn't a paycheck. You can tell it wasn't right. a paycheck. Like, she actually gave a shit about the role, in my mind. 
I feel like it's more of a reflection of like the writers didn't give her stuff to do other than to be that crazy person. Right. Which it is what it is. Like I'm not going to sit there and like talk shit about the story because it's like it all makes sense. It all fit in. Right. Because at the end of the day, what the fuck else is she supposed to do? No, absolutely. Like that's her character in the 80s. Like she's the one that no one believes, but 100% right. Right. What is it, what is she supposed to do? Like really, what the people who bitch, like what would she have what should she have done better? Right. And I'd, I cuz I've read that, but I haven't heard one thing of like what would have been nice if she would have done this instead. What what? What if, go fucking post flyers? Does not she, she that. do that? They exactly. That. Yeah. So I mean like what are you, what is she supposed to do? Who knows? I don't know, man. She did everything. She, I mean, she post flyers. I liked it. She like she uh she, what does she do? She was a town she crazy goes, woman. She goes like, to like the like, store like that there's that scene where she like takes an advance and then she buys a phone and like cigarettes and stuff. Like those are like funny little moments. They're fu- like they're character moments. Right. But it's like at the same time the writing limits her, but that's not a fault of her. Like what is she, she's not going to ad lib and make her own I mean, fucking story up. She served her purpose. I don't I don't feel like she was limited at all. I don't I don't I, I don't I don't understand what people are complaining about. And it's not a bad choice in casting either. No, she was good. I mean, you could have had anyone in that role, but the fact that she was in it, like she hasn't really been in anything. No, it, anyway. I think it was a good. It's a good introduction back into <coughs> showbiz, so that she doesn't have to shoplift anymore. <laughs> you know. Well, um, she might still shoplift. She might. She might have a problem. I mean, I feel like she hasn't been in a movie in a while since uh, since that movie where she's married to Kevin Kevin James. Dude, I don't even know what movie. Like, the last movie I saw her in that I remember. see that, dude? She was in the movie with Kevin James. She's married to Kevin James, and Vince Vaughn is his best friend and business partner. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen that movie. I know what you're talking about, though. Okay. Yeah, she was in that one. She was cheating on him with the Channing. I do remember. Uh, No, I've seen this movie. It wasn't that great. It was okay. Well, it's Kevin James. Well, I was going to say, okay, that probably is the last time I saw her. But the time before that was Mr. Deeds. Oh, shit. Okay. But that's like the last time I've... Right. And then before that was Alien Resurrection. I'm just saying, maybe she's going into Bloomingdale's or wherever it was and stealing shit because she really needs it. Okay. I mean, if I could steal shit and get away with it, I would do it. All right. Well, I'm not white, Uh, so... That's neither here nor there, dick face, but... I'm just saying. Way to play the stereotype... Did she go to jail? We're all fucking thieves. I think she got arrested, but she, like, it was a slap on the wrist. She, yeah, like, see? Missed a meter. If I fucking stole something from fine. Bloomingdale's, it'd be like this. Maybe. Maybe. But, uh, okay. I really like, back to the sheriff, we, didn't, we really didn't discuss we, the Yeah, sheriff. we got off topic. Um, he was a drunk. He was. But, no, it was good. No, but he... We, I mean, I understand a, what he, he wasn't had a like a past. He had a past. Yeah. That's a better way to put it. He had a past. Well, no, I'll explain. Like, he didn't care. I, I can't remember what his turning point was. Like, what made him, like, all of a sudden, like, oh, it was because. His daughter. No. The turning point was he was at the bar and the sheriff or whatever, the guy that discovered the kid's oh, body, yeah. said some shit. And he was like, wait, that didn't happen. That's not the way it happened at all. And then he started, like, kind of connecting the dots saying, you know, whenever these things happen, they don't let us, like, the state, the state the, police when the, come when the, in. When the, when the boy died. Right. They had the coroner come in, and they're like, oh, so-and-so took over, or whatever. Right. And then he, then he found that the body was stuffed. With, like, no, 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 but that was the reason why he even went in there. No, I know, I'm saying that led him to go in. Yeah, it was because the guy said some shit, and his, it wasn't lining up what he said. Because he was a good cop. Yeah. He was a good... Well, like, and then it, explained, were... it, it gets explained that he was, like, a big city cop, and his daughter dying is why he moved to bumfuck, you know, and is... Living in a trailer. Living in a trailer. His wife divorced him. <coughs> he's boning some chick from town, and she can tell he's, like, not all the way there mentally with her, so she's just like, you know, give me a call when you're over whatever it is you are, and, you know, he's, like, waking up in night sweats or whatever. I don't know. Um, but all that, like, I thought it was cool. It was a cool arc for that guy. Like, he was, like, he didn't give a shit. He was just whatever, just hating life. And then he, 
he was served a purpose. And then by the end, he was like full fledged on the right side. Like, exactly. Like ready. To, he's the hero of the fucking show. He is the show. You to know? me, he's the main character. The boys are the main characters because they're the ones that, that we relate to because that's how it's written. But like the, without the sheriff, if the sheriff died in that first episode, the show wouldn't, to me, it wouldn't be the same. Right. Well, like, you need the adult that had the power. I mean, right. they were all kind of working together. Oh, well, yeah, I know. So I wouldn't well, I mean, that's say the, it's his show, but... Well, he's... Well, yeah, okay, fine. I'll, I'll agree If he would have died at the end, he would have been the martyr of the show. Yeah. Like, oh. His death would have had the most impact, I think. Right. And they would have, like, you know... He would have had an awesome fucking funeral. So I was super broke, because only Winona Ryder would have been there. <laughs> And, and the she son. can't afford shit because she's getting fucking casserole from the neighbors. She's getting yeah, and uh, pay advances from the the, from the, the local grocery store. It wasn't even a grocery job. store. It was like a general store. It was a general store. It wasn't a grocery store. It was uh, a general store. Well, it was, I mean, technically, it's a grocery store. It wasn't a chain store. Well, they had the supermarket. It was a market. You know, but they sold phones and shit. Like, it's like the little Mexican store on the corner where you can buy fucking license plates and. I have and bear traps. I live right next to yeah. one of those Mexican markets. They're like, you can oh, buy shit. piñatas and like everything else. <laughs> you can buy a piñata, you can buy a power strip, you can buy a PlayStation 1. <laughs> yeah, a PlayStation uh, 1. You can buy baseball cards from 1989 with gum in it still. With the gum in it still. Um, it was like one of those stores. But uh yeah, I don't know. I think I'm done talking about Stranger Things. What uh what do you give it? On a scale of what, one to ten? One to ten, what do you give it? It's like a seven, five, eight for me. Really? Huh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give it a nine. I thought it was it was pretty good. It's one of the better things to come out on Netflix in a while. No, it's good. It's better than the last season of House of Cards. I liked the last season. I liked it too, but it wasn't great. It was just like yeah. <coughs> it was a return to form for me. I mean, even though I started watching the show when season four debuted, so I shouldn't say, like, as if I knew what a return to form was. Well. <laughs> but it's, well, for me, it went, House of Cards went back to what I enjoyed about the first season, which was the main story, which was fucking, what's her name's story? The girl, the one who gets killed. Zoe. Zoe. Like, to me, that's what the show's about. Trying to uncover Frank's dirt. Right. And so, because that's what the first season sets up. Yeah. And then... Frank kills her. I mean, I guess it's different when you watch every single fucking season, one right after the other. No, I know. For me, because yeah. I, I watched them. I did. Like, back to boom, 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 boom. Right. But I mean, it was okay. I mean, I'd give it an 8, not a 7, 5. An 8. Just an 8. A solid right. 8 for well, me. You give it an 8. I give it a 9. I thought it was uh, it's pretty. It's, it's definitely. It's, it's one of the better things to come out. For sure. In a while. Definitely owns the summer. Um. No, I, I would agree with that. For me, though, it falls apart at the end a little bit. Like, it just slows down. But... Are you fucking serious? Yeah. What are you talking about? The fucking monster's attacking at him? The fucking sheriff goes into the... With the mom, the, and Winona goes into the, uh, I, the it, upside it, down to go it, fucking find her son. And it might that, be... It might have been... fucking from, live snake out of her, his fucking chest. It might be from binge fatigue. Uh, I, I watched the whole show in one episodes, day. eight episodes, man. I watched the whole show in one day. Okay, so one by scene. the end, let's, you got to take a break now, man. Well, no, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm we not saying it's bad. We are losing fucking followers. As is, like, we're at 25 right now, and like tomorrow, well, 25 with or bots. Tuesday, we're going to be at like 23. You know, I know fucking <laughs> Prodigy is going to roast you. Um, well, get ready for them tweets. Whatever. Or at least the comments on SoundCloud. It is what it is. Yeah. As long as people listen, that's all I give a shit about. I'm just saying. I think it might have been streamers fatigue. Binge all right. fatigue. Fair I'm not enough. saying it's not bad. I mean, it's great. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, it's So you recommend bad. it. Like, we both, we both recommend the show. If 100%. you haven't watched it yet. Watch it now. If you're watching other bullshit. If you're watching fucking reruns of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette, which I don't know. I know people watch it. I don't understand it, but... Turn it off. Watch Stranger Things. Stranger, for sure. You need that in your even life. Even if you don't want, even if you're not a fan of E.T. or any of those movies, or you didn't grow up on it, or you're fucking born in the year 2000, like, you could still watch this movie and enjoy it. I 100% recommend it. Um, yeah, no, for sure. It's definitely one of Netflix's better shows. 
I, I put it alongside their their Marvel TV shows because I okay. feel like Marvel their Marvel shows are probably the best things that they do. Yeah, um, they're on point. Like Orange is the New Black, first season was okay. Well, it's first season's good, and then after that, what I haven't seen the newest season, but I'll watch it. I haven't watched any of that, so it's okay. It, There's I a mean, reason behind it too. Like I was <coughs> I was a big fan of Weeds. Weeds was great when it until like came the fifth out. or sixth season, and yeah. then it fell down the toilet. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just kind of that creator, whatever name is Joji, whatever. Um, I'm just kind of over it already. I mean, I don't. I, I feel like the premise is not exactly the same, but it, there's there's some similarities there. It's not the same, but there's enough to where you can see the the creative force behind it. I guess you could say right. it's not the same because Weeds is more. Orange is the New Black is more grounded than Weeds. Okay. Weeds is kind of... Well, I shouldn't say that either because Weeds was grounded at first. Yeah, it's sort of And then it becomes, like, yeah. ridiculous. But anyway, Orange is, the, Orange is the New Black is good. But for me, like, that's one of their staple shows. For me, it's not. Like, if it ended after the third season... I haven't seen the newest one, but if it ended after that, I wouldn't be like... Right. Ugh, whatever. House of Cards is cool. The, the Marvel things, like I said, are cool. I'm trying to think of what else. I haven't seen Get Down yet. I mean, Netflix is, like, fucking pumping out content. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen the new Crouching Tiger movie. Uh, dude, people are cutting the cord left and right. Which they should. Um, 100%. Because... Uh, and Netflix is trying to capitalize on that. Like, it, there's a battle right now. The internet, like, streaming right now is the Wild West. And everyone's trying to, like, figure out who's going to be the... For now. And then, and then, eventually, the internet will just become cable TV. Well... That's so why I said it's the Wild West. Right, right yeah, now. no, right now. Just like podcasting. I mean, it's already becoming it's already becoming the the cable TV because you have to buy so many subscriptions already. Like. And you're already and you're you're still not paying nearly as much as you would, but it adds up. Right. I mean you add Netflix with four K, that's twelve bucks a month. If you do Hulu with no commercial, that's also like twelve bucks a month. There's too. absolutely you pay for the four K. Why have a four K TV? But how many shows do they have that are fucking four K? Um, like two? No, well, for, from now on. And is your internet, like, capable of streaming the 4K? <coughs> yeah. I watch, so from now on, every single show is in 4K that Netflix produces. Every single one. From now on. And then, like, their comedy special. Like, does it look that much better? I mean. I mean, you, you're assuming that it's coming in at 4K. Well, there's a, okay. So, does it look 4K? Yes, but you're still streaming. So, like, for example, if you watched a 4K Blu-ray, it's going to look better than right. your Netflix streaming. Um, but for me, I'm satisfied. Because it's, it's not just the picture, it's also the sound. But anyway, to me, it's $3 extra. I don't get, I mean, because it's... I mean, whatever, like... But I'm, I'm just saying, so you have, already... to, you have $12 a month there. Twelve dollars for Hulu, so you're already at twenty five bucks without tax. And then what else? What other streaming apps are there? Like if you do HBO Go or if, HBO Plus, whatever. The if thing you have is, to pay for that, that's fifteen dollars extra on top of that. Right. Um, what other streaming services? I mean, Amazon Prime because Amazon has their own things. Yeah, too. but Amazon's a little different. Well, yeah, because you get more, but you can also just do the video service now. Like that's the one thing that's kind of cool about Amazon is you, you get all of this shit. Well, like. I know that they're not going to be as quick to cancel shows because they don't give a shit if people are watching the shows or not because they just want you to pay for Amazon Prime so that you buy shit. Yeah. All they care about is selling, like, goods. So because of that, they're going to keep putting out content. But they put, good out, they put out good shows, though. I'm not saying. What I'm saying is that if people don't catch on, like, it could be a good show that, that normally would get canceled, you know, <coughs> because people don't get it or whatever. They're not going to be so quick to cancel it because they're like, who cares? You know, we have the money from all the. Yeah, we're here. making so much fucking money from yeah, everybody Netflix shopping isn't online. selling fucking deodorant. No, they're not. But Amazon is. <laughs> no, but I'm. But no, but so all right. So Amazon. So that's another ten dollars. Right. Now you're already at whatever I whatever the math was. You're like 50, 50 bucks, or sixty bucks a month already. Yeah. Which is way more comparable than one hundred fifty dollars for cable. Right. Well, or you're, you can watch or whatever what you want to watch too. Exactly. That's the thing. And then I mean, I don't like personally. I just pay for Netflix. I don't pay for Hulu. Um, using my parents' sign in for HBO. I, if I had to pay for another one, it would be HBO. But I don't watch anything on Hulu because I don't watch network television. 
Yeah, no, nothing I, on there. I pay for. I need to cancel Hulu because I've ha- I paid for Hulu for the last like three years, and I think I've watched it three times. Yeah, because if you're not watching shows on the major networks, you're just yeah, like. I what? I mean, if I would, you know, I was trying to watch like The Flash and Arrow and all those, which are all on Hulu. Um, I know, but after like a certain episode, they only they only put up four episodes at a time, even with the subscription. Well, no, it's not. So that's not true. Well, not at a not like that. So what no, the current is they ex- season. If it's current season, if it's like right now, if it's season five right now, whatever, and they're at episode five, episode one, you can't watch it anymore until that yeah. season is over, maybe. No, 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 no. So, yes, but not because of whatever reason. You, so the episodes expire. They get taken off. What the fuck are you trying to clarify? No, you're they expired. That you can't watch them anymore. No, no. Okay, well, I'm just. So if I'm, you miss an episode, like if you get a couple weeks behind, you're yeah, fucked. Right, but I'm just saying. What I'm saying is they're not the same. For, it's not like episodes one through four, and that's it. Like you I can didn't watch. Say that. No, I know, but I'm clarifying. That's what I'm clarifying. That it's not that. So if you stick with the show, you can finish the season. But if, like you said, you miss a few weeks, you're fucked. Or I can't start it. Like if. Yeah, or I can't you, start a new season halfway through. No, because it's that's that's how they that's how they're able to gain those rights. But Hulu's also doing something new. I don't know if it's coming out yet. No, I got they they have some doing some content. they're doing they're doing some new things now. I worked on a pilot for Hulu that I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, you know, so I know they're like putting shit out, but so far they're starting to do live streaming is what I'm saying. Oh. Of like Flash. I don't know if they've implemented it yet, but they that's another thing where it's like you can watch TV now, and it just basically becomes... I think the networks are going to fight that eventually. Cause well, no, it's a thing. It's coming. I don't know which networks have signed on. I mean, especially like because, like, shows. how much does it cost to watch it without commercials? Uh, it's eleven ninety nine because that's what I have. Okay. Like, how much money... <coughs> that? Uh, what, what, okay, what is it with commercials, then? 7 or eight ninety nine. So, is, like, that extra 3 bucks really recovering the advertisement money? I don't know. There's just... I don't know. I mean, there's they're working on the system, but I mean, I st- you need I, those I commercials there. That's how the the shows. Commercials are great. For the on Hulu, they're short enough to where you can go take a piss, go get a drink, go get right. some snacks. I get you. Um, but it also gets annoying. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like the networks, I I find it hard to believe that they're gonna agree to, like, allow live unless there's no way around the commercials. You know, maybe there's I don't know. Maybe there, you watch a thirty second commercial. Right. Or, well, no, if you watch it, stream it live, there's going to be commercials. Okay. Makes sense. Like, if you put on MasterChef right now, then it's gonna, you're going to get the same commercials I mean, that there's absolutely else does. no point to watch it live unless you're, like, live tweeting or something. No, there's no point to me to watch anything live unless you're watching UFC or boxing. No, sports, yeah, like, for sure. I can't watch recorded sports. No, I can't. That's something. I like, have. I, I did, not on UFC, I think it was 201 or something where I downloaded it. But you have to like stay off. You can't. You can't go on the internet. You gotta do so much work. You like, can't like. You, you can't, can't talk to anyone. You can't talk to anyone. You can't go on your Facebook. You can't go on your Twitter. When you go to download the fight, you have to like make sure to not look at anything and just download the fight. Otherwise, you just typing in the fight name, it'll bring up like, you know, UFC whatever yeah, no, results. Yeah, definitely. It, it it goes off into yeah. No, it's, it's really hard to stay in the dark about things. I remember when when. Uh, are you? Were you? I don't know if you were there, but it was during the UF, not UFC, the Super Bowl Fifty or whatever, and Brandon was recording it because they were at James Franco's class. Oh, okay. I don't think I told you. I had watched the, that football game at my frat house, right? And then I walked to campus for whatever reason, and I had seen Brandon and Austin, and I already knew who won the game, and I didn't say anything. Luckily, because I almost did, because I knew Brandon was a Bronco. It was the game where fucking Peyton Manning was owning shit, and then first play he like fumbled it because like it was too much pressure. You know that game where they fucking I, I don't know who they're playing. They're playing the Seahawks. They got oh, it was when they got annihilated by they the Seahawks. They got annihilated. Yeah. It was like forty-four to ten. They got killed, but Brandon's like a diehard Broncos fan, and I didn't know he didn't watch the the game, and I was like about to like spoil it for. I had I didn't know. And then Austin was like, no, 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 no. We recorded it. We're going to watch it later. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm like, what the fuck? He must have had his phone turned off. Well, he was in James Franco's class, so he's not gonna, I'm sure he's not going to be on the phone. 
I'd have been because pissed if James I... Franco didn't want to. <laughs> they wanted a call. They wanted to reschedule the class because it was a Super Bowl, but James Franco was like, no. What a fucking dick. I'm not doing anything, so you guys aren't doing anything. Shouldn't be a class. He should have had a party for them. <laughs> fucking Franco. I can't comment on the guy. I haven't interacted. Anyways, watch Stranger Things. Um, so some other shit came out this week, <coughs> last week. I can't, like, be exact, but... It's a new Spider-Man movie coming out from Disney, MCU, and the new controversy is that one of Disney's pop starlets, this biracial chick named Zendaya, has been cast as Mary Jane Watson. And the comic book purists are up in fucking arms because Mary Jane is has white. always been a redhead white chick. Um, well, what's her name wasn't a redhead? They dyed her hair. Uh, what's her name? Hot. She's so beautiful. Kirsten Dunst? No. Um, I was gonna not say. Mary Jane. She wasn't Mary Jane. She played the oh, other. She's Gwen Stacy. She's Gwen. No, no, no. I, I never mind. Yeah. Disregard that. Rewind. Never mind. Who's so beautiful? What? Uh, what's her name? Emma. Not Emma. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. Oh, I love Emma Stone. Are you serious? Oh yeah. I don't see it, man. I mean, oh, she's I not ugly. She's no. She's got those fucking weird. Fucking box teeth. No, I'm. I she's up, she's like this. Like, this is how she talks. Whatever. She can talk to me like that all night. I don't care. All right. Lower your standards, man. Right, that's fine. Emma Watson's great. Not Emma Watson. It's Emma Stone. I mean, Stone. Emma Stone. I don't know why. I There's a lot Watson. of Emmas out there, though. Like, Emma's like the popular, like, any girl that was born in the late 80s, early 90s and is acting, her name is Emma right now, it seems like. There's like 90 fucking Emmas in Hollywood. Well, Emma Stone's the hot one. Oh. Uh, but she played Gwen Stacy. Yeah, no, that's I. As soon as, I'm like, oh wait, Mary Jane, stupid. Yeah. But anyway, go back, controversy. I'm not too familiar with this. Um, I did read. I didn't read the whole quote from James Gunn, but that's my. That's like my thing that I know about. I, I mean, still it's turning into a thing now. Like whenever you change the ethnicity of a comic book character, everybody gets upset that are comic book fans, not just white people. Like like comic book comic fans. book fans. Are upset like, but she's white. Like, why? Like, and then they turn into like, why are we turning everyone into? Why does everyone have to be ethnic now? Why has everything got to be diverse? Why can't we just keep things the way they are? Um, I, I well, think for one, they want people to fucking continue to buy comic books and to read it, and that's one way to you know to make sure that new audiences. I mean, I mean, I I'm sure that's that. their thinking. I'm sure that's. Their, I don't think like like right now like as a comic book collector myself. When I go into the shop, I see the demographic, and it's not kids. No. It's fucking, like... Nerds. They're, like, older guys, though. Like, like my buddy owns a comic book store, um, and he told me, like, the problem with comic books is that there's no new generation coming in. No, like, there are the generation now, and they have been, and that's the... It's like, the same generation, and they're just getting older. And they're still buying comics, but they are... Um, there's not fresh blood coming in. So eventually comic book stores are going to shut down. It was like when I when I when you when you called me to buy what 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 one was that? The new not the new 50. You called me to buy something. Oh, the Rebirth. Rebirth. And then I went into my local comic book store and the guys were fucking assholes because they could tell that I wasn't like one of them. Like I wasn't right. a norm guy cuz I went in and I just said do you guys have the rebirth? And that like couldn't even finish my sentence. They're like, no, we don't have that. If you would have came in like two weeks ago, you would have gotten it. But we don't have that. And they were just. So they sounded like Patton Oswalt too. Like, is that? Do I do a good Patton Oswalt? No, but that oh. like it sounded like you were trying to do a Patton Oswalt. No, I no, I wasn't trying to do that. Okay. But but no, I, and it wasn't what he said. It was how he said yeah, it, absolutely. and like how he was like, did like I said, didn't let me finish this like sentence. As if I was, like, asking the dumbest fucking question in the world. I mean, I get it, too. Like, I don't look like the people that <laughs> shop there. So I get, like, the weird side eyes from people sometimes when I walk in in different stores. You know, that's why my shop is super cool because he's, like, he just, he's a cool dude. DJ's Universal Comics in Studio City, second floor in this little strip mall. Um, his name's Cat. 
super cool dude, and he just talks to everybody. He just has, he doesn't talk about comics. Yeah, why not? He just talks about life, like, hey, how's it going? How's work? Whatever, whatever. You know, bullshit. He'll tell you about what's going on with him and his family, whatever. You know, it's a it's a different vibe that you get than if you walk into these other stores. Oh, this guy, the other guys that I interact with, they never they're really like, told me about their life. They're like the fucking comic book and guy were, from The Simpsons, right? And when I want, yeah, totally, a hundred percent. When I walked in, they were discussing about who was more powerful, Green Lantern or like whoever Green Lantern's equivalent is. I don't know who it is. Green I, don't, I don't fucking know. But they were like, and like fucking going ham, like straight fucking nerd talk. And maybe that's why they were mad. Maybe I fucking killed their vibe. Like maybe right. they were riffing off of each other. But it was like, I'm not asking for, like, I just asked a simple question. Like, you don't know me. Right. Like, you don't know. I don't know. It was just fucking. It was fucked up. Like, I felt it was. It was so fucking annoying that if I had like ten million dollars, I would buy that place just to close it, <laughs> just to fucking put them all out of work. <laughs> like that's what I. Because it was just like that's. That's how I don't know. But anyway, right. anyway. So, no, actually, um, like I feel like the strategy is like let's like try to make new audiences to make more money, but that's not working. What they're doing is alienating the only audience that they have left. But people are still Except buying for the movies. Things. Except for the movies. That's and it. Maybe, and maybe that's the transition. I mean, not well, because this, this girl is for the movie, not for the comic books. Right. So... Oh, it's, eventually it's going to follow. They're going to make another, like, Well, yeah, there, isn't, there an, isn't there the new Iron Man's a black girl? No, no, she's called Iron something else. It's Iron, but she's not Iron Man. Okay. But, well, yeah, her name's but Riri it, Williams. But it, it's what I'm... That's I'm, another one, like, people she's are like, like why most, do we have to have a... She's the smartest girl in the world, right? Like, in... No, no, that's, like, that's, uh, that's, uh, Moon Girl. Okay. I'm not, like... In, uh, Devil Dinosaur. I'm not super comic book knowledge, but I do... In the I'm last couple of years, event. they've been like Thor's one isn't uh, Thor the woman now? Yeah, but it's Jane, Jane whatever the Jane Foster is now Thor, um, and, and that people are upset about that. Captain like, America too, right? Something. Captain America's Falcon. Falcon is now Captain America because <coughs> Cap died again. Uh, I personally, I'm not bothered by it. I can see where like there's this big movement towards turning him into a woman, turning him into a person of color turning them into uh, a, question, a gay like character like you know which i mean when we get to a certain point where it's like is that fucking completely necessary like i mean like even if i if, i mean like, like their sexuality said, like if, if, that, if bruce wayne came out as gay yeah you like think that would <laughs> i like why like their sexuality especially a character like bruce wayne his sexuality is not important to his character at all well two things i have two i have two questions all right one is and i believe stan lee said this like, he wrote comics that were, like, based in, like, Greek mythology and everything like that, right? But they were, like, based around things that were happening. Right. Current, like, X-Men was supposed to be, like, the civil rights movement, right? Right. And Magneto was Malcolm X, and Professor X was Martin Luther King. Right. Right? I'm not, I'm not wrong with that, right? I've heard something. Kind of like that, yeah. right? So would you say that that's more of a continuation of that? Like, that's my first question. If It's, like... We're, like our comics going we're adapting. full SJW. Sure, if that's that, I'm not asking if that. I'm not asking that specific question, but I'm asking, like, are they becoming more uh, representative I, of like our culture? But that's one question. My second question is, do you think? Um, I don't know how to put this. Do you think it, like, ultimately, like, I know you said you don't think it matters, but do you think it really fucking really matters? Or do you think that the comic books sh should stay comic? Like, do you feel like, okay, for example, like, um, Captain America being Falcon, right? Now, I don't know if there was a controversy because Captain America's black now. Was there one? I mean, someone's... I'm sure someone complained. Someone's going to get upset. Let's but. just say they rebooted Captain America and made him black. He's not Falcon. He's just a black guy, right? Right. That's just for the sake of my question. All right. So is it racist for people to be angry about that? Or, and like, be up, he should be white because he was always white? Or <sighs> should you just respect that the character was just made that way and he should just, like, for example, like Superman or even like if Superman became black or Mexican, or whatever the fuck. I mean, he's not from this planet. Okay, so when it, when it do comes... You know what I'm, do you know what I'm getting yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I, I read an article somewhere that said that 
no matter how many changes a character goes through, eventually they have to go back to who they originally were for just for rights, the simple rights, like, um, you know, the whole Disney thing, like where they almost lost Mickey Mouse. <coughs> so Congress basically changed the law stating that Disney has the rights to Mickey Even Mouse. Even though technically we all own Mickey Mouse. Right, he should be uh, public domain. Public domain, yeah. Um, I think it has something to do with that. Like if a character stays different for too long, they could potentially lose the rights to it. To so the original. Yeah. Yeah, so then you can start using like if, if Let's say, like, Superman. like in Nightfall, Batman got his back broken, um, and then Jean Paul Valley, I think was his name, was Azrael, became Batman. Like if he if he'd have been Batman for ten years, and Bruce Wayne was never Batman again, and they might have lost comic, Bruce Wayne. They might have lost Bruce Wayne, and then uh, it'd be public domain, and people could use Bruce Wayne um, <laughs> to draw dicks and stuff. Like to draw dicks. I don't know. Um, people do stupid shit. I used to draw dicks. Just, uh, so I think that's part of it. Like, so it always has to go back to the original character. But do you uh, think it's? But do you think it's racist? I think. I mean, that's that. It's hard to say because, you know, there's, there's, there's black people, and there's Latino people who are like, Captain America's white. He's always been white. There's no need to make like they're not like happy about it either. You know, not everyone is. Believe it or not, not all of us minorities are super 100 for like progress or di- diversity. Like, I mean, we are to a certain extent when it like you know. When it comes to us, you know, like, I don't want to get discriminated against. Which is another topic. Which is another topic. We're, gonna, we're, we're, we're definitely going to we'll touch talk, on that. We'll talk about that. But um, it, it, it's, it's not inherently racist, but I think there's definitely, a, it's there. It's a part of it. Like, and it might not be, it just might be subconscious. Like, the reason why you're upset that, I'll give you an example. I mean, nobody liked the Daredevil movie with Ben Affleck except me. I, I, I haven't seen it yet, so. I didn't hate the movie. I thought it was, you know, I enjoyed it when it came out, you know, fucking however long ago it did. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, people hate Ben Affleck for some reason. I like Ben Affleck, so. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was cool, whatever. It wasn't necessarily 100% Daredevil, but um, for the time, we, we didn't have a lot of superhero movies. We had, we had the first X-Men movie. Um, what is that, 2000? We had Hulk. Hulk. I think I think Ben Affleck came out in two thousand three. Two thousand three. Two thousand three. Hulk. The the, uh, the first Hulk. We had was the shitty Hulk. I still haven't seen that one either. The Eric Bana Hulk. Um, that sucked. I mean, there just wasn't a lot. Like Spider Man. This is like the beginning. I I see. I'm one guy. I never liked the Tobey Maguire Spider Man. I'm with you. Um, those are, you know, if people love him because of Sam Raimi. Whatever. I don't care. Not my thing. Nope. Um, I, I just think Toby Maguire is a fucking... I don't like Toby. No, I don't like him at all. Well, I think Toby's fine. I don't have a problem with Toby. I don't like Spider-Man. That Spider-Man. Okay. Well, I didn't like it. He has a weird face. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck Toby Maguire. Um, but whatever. Um, I don't... I see, I, I'm conflicted too. No, but, but back to... De- my, I mean, my point is... Oh, like, Daredevil. Like, so, Michael Clark Duncan, rest in peace, they cast him as a kingpin. And back then, people were like, it's same thing happened. Like, well, Kingpin's white. You know? Why, why did they cast a black guy? And it's like, dude, when you saw him come out on fucking screen and how huge he, he was. He was fucking Kingpin. It, it was perfect. I, I was like, this is great. I mean, he might not be white, but who cares? He's bald. He's fucking huge. Like, a lot of people, think, voice, they, a lot of people think Kingpin's a fucking fat ass. And, you know, if you read all the stupid, super nerdy comic book bios... They say that Kingpin is like 99% fucking muscle. So he's big and shit. And he might be fleshy, but he's not a fat ass. Even in the, even in, did you watch season two of Daredevil? Yeah. I mean, he fights fucking Punisher. I mean, he's a badass. No, like the, the Kingpin's a badass. And, and he takes the, like in, they fight. In, the, in, in, in Daredevil MCU on Netflix, he's, he's fat for sure. He's but not. He's, he fights. He fights no, he's Daredevil. A good, yeah, he's a good fighter. But what I'm saying is, he's still fat. Well, yeah, but yeah. I think that's the. Michael Clark Duncan was not fat. He was just name? big, fucking powerful. Like, yeah, and I love uh, what's his face, fucking Vincent, uh, fucking Private, whatever from uh, Full Prime Metal Jacket or whatever. Um, dude from Law and Order. Yeah, Vincent D'Onofrio. There you go. I like him. I thought he's, he's great. He's, he's a great Daredevil. He's a great actor. Or, excuse me, great, great Kingpin. He's a good actor. I mean, he melded in for the latest Jurassic Park movie. He's fucking awful. Whatever. Jurassic Park movie, but whatever. Um, that was a paycheck for sure. That was just a paycheck. Hey man, he that was, was a bad. That was a big paycheck. He was fucking bad. It was a big paycheck. But uh, 
He's good in that. But I'm saying Mark, Michael Clark Duncan was... He fit the role. He fit the role. He was great. I had no problem with it. And people did just because because he was black. Who cares? Like, his background... I feel like in this current iteration of Kingpin, his background means something because it's like his dad's working class Italian. You know, his mom's... And he has a connection with Daredevil. Like, there's a reason why it is what it is. Right. Like, there's a reason yeah. for it. Yeah, and that's a part of the character for this... But the, and it's not them reverting back to like being white. It's like you said, it serves the purpose of the story. Right. So for me, my thing is, and it, uh, so comic, I feel like comic books are different from like books because sometimes you read a book and they might do basic character description or something. Right. But they might not divulge into like race or whatever. And it leaves it up to like the, to the reader's mind to right. like imagine how he looks or whatever. Right. Or he might Unless be... Unless it's George R.R. R. Martin. Well, see, I, don't, I haven't read Game of Thrones. But I'm just saying... Though my, so fucking... Those books are so hard to get through because he, like, describes so everything to the T. Like, they fucking has a weird vein that goes across his nose into his fucking dick. But you get my point, though. No, no, yeah, definitely. So, but comic books, obviously... There's a picture, and you see it. And you know that's... And obviously, and you know. they were, a lot of the early ones were all white because that was the times that were reflected like right but at the same time like that's that whether or not people want to agree with it or not bruce wayne's white right he's fucking white clark kent is white he's an alien but he's white like that's the original so a purist that's like but if you were to change it to reimagine it or whatever that's fine but right for me you can't change it I don't think, and I don't, and I think that's the thing that people can't wrap their heads around. Even like for this casting, for the the whatever you said, the the girl Mary Jane. Mary Jane's not going to become black now all of a sudden. It's just for this universe and whatever. Like, yeah, Mary Jane's a white character, originally, and right. that's how she'll always be, whether or not you want to like look look for do the, reincarnations or whatever the fuck. Like, you know what I for mean? For the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Nick Fury's black. Yes, and no, no one seems to have a problem with that. And that's because in the ultimate universe of Marvel, Nick Fury is black. Well, isn't that The real Nick Fury in the is, main universe is, is David Hasselhoff. Is, is David Hasselhoff <laughs> with an eye patch. <laughs> it's a white guy. Um, and I feel like people had less of an issue because, because of the ultimate universe. I've never read an ultimate universe book before. Well, don't they, didn't they, they make those like, to complement the movies? Or no, am I? No, no, this came out way before. Because I've noticed that Ultimate some of the universe came out like in two thousand. I've noticed that some of the comic books are starting to like not mirror the movies, but like I don't know. Like no, they are. No, they're they're. I feel like they're trying to mirror them a little more because they want that way. New it's like readers. oh, I watched the movie exactly. And now I can. Like, I want to go and pick up yeah. like Suicide Squad, the newest, the new run of Suicide Squad. Like the members are like the same, right? From the movie yeah. and then the. Yeah, they did that on purpose. And it's like, oh, I can sure. read the comic books now. I mean, and the, like the another thing that people like, like Harley, Harley in the movie is not what Harley looked like in the books. No. You know what I mean? Um, she wore like a fucking court jester for the most part, and then not in the movie though. Lately, they kind of they no, in a, in a movie they did not, they kind of slutified it or whatever, <laughs> which is fine. You know, I liked it, but that's we already talked about Suicide Squad. Um, Did I answer your other question? The other question, I don't remember what my other question was. What was my other question? Like, See, look, like, okay, I get, here. like, I don't know, we grew up with Superman, we grew up with Batman, we grew up with Iron Man, they look a certain way. Those main people, fuck whatever, they can be, like, they have to look the way they did in the comic books, because that's who we know. But other, like, I, even though Mary Jane is, is Spider-Man's love interest, she could be somebody different. It doesn't matter to me. Well, they they were saying that Spider Man was gonna be a little black kid. Well, they there's. First doing, I mean, when they were first doing the like castings. I mean that, you know, whatever. Um, it's like Miles Morales is like a different. There's like a there was like a storyline for for Spider Man. I'm not a Spider Man fan, so so Juan, if you listen to this one and you want to roast me, you already know I don't give a shit about Spider Man. I never have. I've always been an ex an ex universe guy. Um, and a Batman guy. Um, you can walk past. It's fine. That's my sister in the blurry background. Uh, uh, so because of that universe, like now there's like multiple Spider-Mans that aren't Peter Parker. I guess Peter Parker died. 
so now there's like there's a his name's Miles Morales, so I'm assuming he's like probably Dominican or Puerto Rican. Do you think that's their way around of like avoiding controversy? Maybe. I don't I mean they just created a whole new universe. I mean that's how they got away with Nick Fury. They just made a whole new universe and said, Well, in this universe, Nick Fury's black. Like and it's fine, who cares? You know, I I mean, I just don't understand. What's annoying to me is these Okay, this is what this is for me personally, what's most more important. Is she hot? All right. She's gonna be a kid. No, she's gonna be a teenager. Well, her age, her looks are probably gonna compliment uh, Tom Holland's. Right, and he was he looked pretty young. Yeah. So I've seen pictures of her though. No, she's she's gonna look like I don't know. I don't she's know. gonna look like one of those high school chicks that are like this chick's in high school. <laughs> like I mean, that's all that matters. Is I that mean, what that's all that matters to me. Like like cast the best looking person because I don't give a shit if they're a terrible actress. I don't give a shit. You if know, if you have to look at them, they might as well be hot. Exactly. Like I'm here. This is a fantasy. We're trying to escape reality. There's a comic book movie. Yeah, because girls in high school don't always look. Like as that. long as she's fucking good looking, I'm okay with it. And I've seen pictures of her, and I think You're thumbs okay. up. You're I'm okay, okay with, with it. it. Okay, she's she's not bad looking. You know. So I just think it's funny when people bitch about stuff. And then they're gonna go fucking watch the movie. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like they're gonna bitch about it, and then they're gonna fucking complain about it. I and mean, then, and then I feel s- bad for her because I mean, she's gonna have a lot of pressure on her because already people are talking shit that she's not white, and now if she doesn't fucking I'm sure she's kill getting it, death threats. If she doesn't kill it, it's gonna be like oh she ruined it. Exactly. She did a it, terrible it's, performance. It's gonna be awful and not cool. But oh. then people, but then people are gonna love it, and then all of a sudden it's like a. It wasn't to the mo- like a bigger extent, but like I remember when Guardians of the Galaxy was coming out and they announced that Batista was in it. Right. And, oh, he's a wrestler. He's not an actor. Obviously, he had been he had done like other little things, but like Guardians kind of put him on the map right. to do other stuff. Because I don't know. We did that awful movie with fucking uh, the RZA. The R- that's I was gonna that's what I was gonna ask you if that came out before man, Guardians. It was a man with the iron fist or some something shit. like that. I don't know. But it's like shitty movie. People were like, oh, but people love his character in the movie. Yeah. And it's like, I think it might be the same thing where it's like, they're going to watch it. And then, and then of course, Rotten Tomatoes will give Spider-Man a 93%. Right. And then people will see it like 15 fucking times. And then all of a sudden it like goes by the wayside and fucking Marvel's a genius again. And it's like Star Wars with Lupita. Cause people, I remember people were complaining about Lupita being the little fucking, the little alien thing. You don't I mean, even see her. She's a little alien. You don't thing. even see. But people like, complain about that. Yeah. Wow. Well, because people are stupid. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, it's just like in Game of Thrones, a few years ago, during season five. Oh yeah, I gotta record. We gotta stop over the camera. Do you want me? Do you want to continue? No, we we'll keep talking. I gotta get some water. So we can part two. You can switch the cards. Now let's keep going. I think we we got something going right now. But um, but so go we're ahead, gonna keep talking. Out the, we're gonna step off the camera for a second because I'm gonna turn it off. But we're still gonna keep talking. Um, season season five of uh, Game of Thrones, where basically Sansa, where Sansa gets raped. Right? Right. By, uh, what's his name? By Ramsey. By Ramsey. And remember the controversy? Like, oh, I'm done with this show because Sansa never gets anything good. Like, she's always, the, she's always at the bad end of every... You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Right, she gets about. the shit under the stick. And it's not, it wasn't just Sansa. It was like other women and how the show is like misogynistic and whatever else. And people were... I remember on my Facebook, people were like, oh, I'm done with this fucking show. Like, I'm done. You know, they, they don't treat their women well and this and that. But yet, those same fucking people, oh, Battle of the Bastards was great. Best television on TV. I'm so glad that, you know, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, okay. You can sit there. Well, it's, it's, it's people looking for a reason to complain. And it's, but it's like, they're like, I'm done with this show, but yeah, but you're still fucking watching it. It's like, that's so fucking hypocritical to me. Those same fucking bitches who fucking like, oh, I'm not going to watch it because of this. And it's like, but at the same time, it's like, okay, you, won't, you will complain about the mistreatment of Sansa's character as if the world wasn't already established that this shit happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... The first fucking episode is there's incest and shit. Like, it's not like 
Game of Thrones is somehow it's not a magical fairy tale. Land. It's not like they introduced rape in season five. No, no. It's, like it's, it's not like people were not getting fucking decapitated and. I mean, there's been fucked up shit since the first episode. Since the first episode, they throw a child off. You know, yeah, in the first episode. In the first episode, a child gets like there's attempted murder on a child. And it's like, really, that's of all the things in the world that you're gonna bitch about. It's, it's an important issue, yeah. And my, I guess what my whole point in saying all this is, do you think that, uh, do you think season six was affected by that? See, I don't even pay attention. Like, do they change things because people well, are complaining? Yeah, because like, the women win in season six. No, no. See, I don't think so either. I feel like the story was kind of always going that way. No, Cersei is like, yeah, she's in it to win it. <coughs> she's been in it to win it from the get. Well, I mean, Cersei, and then you have Yara, who, like, kind of wins, too, because she's... Well, yeah, because, I mean... And then... I mean, and even then... Danny, even then, she gets... She's enabled. Like, Theon enables Yara, you know? Because he's like, I believe in her. So, I'm, I believe in you, so I'm going to support you. You know? It wasn't it wasn't her. It was him. No, I know, but so I'm someone, just saying, You could like, argue that he took that away like from her. And just, like, Sansa, be, like, takes back her house, but really, it's... John and right. Well, Even really, it's it Littlefinger, not really. Right. John. Well, it was her manipulating Littlefinger because without her, without she's the one that convinced him to help. He, he didn't still want to came. That he, he didn't want to. Send she the, didn't have an army though. No, but he didn't want to send the troops. No, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And she convinced him. I'm just saying. Yeah. All my point is, is that this stuff has been established. Yeah. Way before season. It's a five. fucked up world. There's like no. There's nothing to complain about. Nothing. Like, like nothing should be surprising at this point. You're just looking for reasons to get upset. Like it's the social, what's the, it's social justice warriors. What's the point? Because it's not even about like we're not over here defending rape. Like yeah, they definitely should have been raped. Like no, it's nothing to do with that. No, this is a world where shit like that. If this, because this is supposed to be representation of like medieval time. Yeah. Like, right. Where shit like that fucking happened. If you were a woman. You were an object, period. And Game of Thrones is a representation of those times. Absolutely. Right? So, like, that's not me condoning it. So the women it. that are, like, able to overcome that and, like... They're make, powerful women. They're, they're super strong. They're, like, stronger than the men. Like, exactly. And that's what the show is becoming. The women are become, they're coming on top. Which I'm not, I'm not a poet. That's great. It's cool. I'm not... But I'm not going to sit here and, like, oh, let's not have this part of the show because... People are fucking sensitive. Right. When a show is based on not being sensitive. Right. Like, there's no hand holding. They don't give a shit. Like, it's just, I feel like it's just Americans' taboo towards, like, subject matter. Like, oh, right. violence? Oh, yeah, it's cool. We can have people kill Oh, yeah, by the way, we said we are going to talk about Nate Parker. We're saving that. Uh, we're going to have, have a panel discussion. We're going to have a panel. I feel like it's not completely fair to have just... Us two talk about it. Two dudes talking about <coughs> what went down with that case. We need or, different. We need different perspectives. Yeah, and we're gonna bring some SJWs on for that one. Uh, for sure. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be lit, fam. It's gonna be lit. Um, but anyway, back to MCU. Um, the other rumor going on. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that Beyonce is gonna play? And I can see you're shaking your head. They can see you shaking your head. Beyonce might play Bruce Banner's cousin, Jennifer Walters, a.k.a. She-Hulk. So, explain the head shake. Well, first of all, don't give a shit about Beyonce. And I don't fucking care about, like, she's the queen. No, she's the queen of fucking nothing. She's married to Jay-Z. She has a successful career. I'm not taking that away from her at all. She's a great artist and musician for those who like her. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to take that away from her. She's talented. She's obviously very business mind. Like, her mind is, you know what I mean? Like, she's made right. for the game, and she's winning. And I'm, no matter what I could say, can't take that away from her. But I don't like her. Don't care for her music. I'm not, like, a yes queen. Like, I'm not one of those, like, I, like a lot of people of my age are, like, bow down to Beyonce and all that. That's not fucking me. Because it's not. Didn't care for Destiny's Child. Don't care for her now. That's what it is. But 
the problem, the, what's bothering about this She-Hulk thing, see, what's fucked up about this whole situation is anything I say about it can be construed as, like, me being racist or me being, like, misogynistic or anything like that. Because first of all, okay, let's talk about race for a second. In the universe, all right, they're cousins. They're not siblings, right? But Mark Ruffalo's white. Right. And Beyonce's not. Okay. She light skinned though. You get my point. You get my point. Is that an issue? Not really. Don't care about that. But I'm just saying. This would bother me less than the whole fucking Fantastic Four. I was just going to bring that up because they're. Okay. Like, that was dumb. Like, I get it. Like, if you want to be diverse, take the fucking leap. And make, make Sue them all Storm black. black. Make them, make them all, all black. black. And it would have been fine. Like, whatever. Like, people would have been upset because their characters are white. But who They're cares? all black. At, at least you can black, buy they're the same family as siblings. Not like, like, I, I'm not for a second believing that a fucking black, a single black man was able to adopt a fucking white chick. Like, no. Get the fuck out of here. Name another, I, somebody, name, name, name another time that's ever happened in the fucking history of the world. You know, the shit does not fucking happen at all. Like, like. People don't got it like that. It's not hard to just fucking cast a black woman. No, it's not. Like, it doesn't matter if they're adopted or not. I don't just think cast Kate, a black woman. Kate Mara is not a, a box office draw. Well, obviously, that movie wasn't a box office I mean, draw regardless. Yeah, exactly. I still saw it. I still don't think it was a bad movie. But that's neither here nor oh there. Oh, my Did you, God. You didn't even see it. No, I don't have to see it. It's see? got Miles Teller in it. I know it sucks. You know how you can't talk. You haven't seen it. No, okay. I'm not going to see it. So you can't talk. I've seen it. I could talk all I want. That, well, you can. Yeah, but I can. To me, the opinion becomes invalid. Okay. Because you well, haven't seen it. All right. I know it's gonna suck. I don't have to see it. Well, you should. You should watch the it. The fucking director got fired like a quarter of the way through because okay, he's well, a hold on. We're not talking about Fantastic Four. And he smeared Four. fucking shit on the fucking walls and in protest for him getting fucking fired. <laughs> that doesn't mean. Okay. I'm not. The movie's bad. I'm not saying. No, that. you're defending the movie. I am defending the movie because I. The reason why I defend the movie. Is the same reason why I defend Suicide Squad, same reason why I defend Lone Ranger, same reason why I defend uh, uh, John Carter, people. You like shitty movies. No, no, hold on. People listen to fucking Rotten Tomatoes. They listen to the trades where Disney reports a $260 million lot in the movies like fucking three or four weeks out before it even reaches the box office. And people don't understand how fucking business works that their projections are like they're projecting that they're going to lose money and they have to report their quarterly earnings and so they're like all right we're going to write this off as a loss because we're projecting we're not going to make money but that doesn't translate to a bad movie necessarily I don't watch movies because I don't like certain actors or I don't like a certain director <laughs> That's fine So I'm not going to go watch a movie when when Miles Teller is the face of the Fantastic 4 I'm like all right this movie's already been miscast Sure fine okay, I'm not going to Second, the director <coughs> never directed shit before. He directed he did, a fucking indie movie. He directed Chronicle. And he got and he got handed the fucking Chronicles. He directed a found footage movie. Chronicle's great. It's a found footage you still movie. Still haven't seen Chronicle. It's just I don't watch found Chronicles. footage movies. Found footage movies are fucking garbage. Chronicle's great. The guy and then he gets handed the fucking keys still to the kingdom. Still haven't seen Chronicle. And he was who's supposed to direct was he supposed to direct Rogue One too? Yeah, and then they they are like no, 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 we're not going. Yeah, so the fuck that. Nah. I'm not going to support that You haven't seen Chronicle. Shit. I'm not going to I'm not going to I'm definitely not going to see if it. If you're going to see either of those movies. Yeah, if I'm going to watch a fucking found footage movie, it's got to be Chronicle. No, I'm just saying if you're going to watch one of his two movies, you watch Chronicle's a good movie. I'm good. Because they use found footage in a way that no one else uses found footage. Okay. It's still a found footage movie. I'm, I'm missing out then. You are. I'm missing and out. And I hope and finish on Beyoncé. What else? I hope our okay. two viewers <laughs> will comment and say that Gian should watch Chronicle oh. cuz Chronicle's a great comic book movie. I mean, there's a ton of movies you still haven't watched yet. So. Sure, sure. Um, but anyway, no, I'm just, I'm just, I want to finish my point. I'm just defending movies like that because people should watch them and then shit on them. Watch them and then shit on them. Because if you, by listening to the trades, franchises like John Carter can't get started and there's potential for shit to be there. And the only reason, and people are like, oh, it's the same, John Carter's the same movie as Avatar. It's the same movie as Star Wars. And it's like, yeah, well, you're all dumb fucking assholes because John Carter was written fucking 100 years ago and Lucas and Cameron, they all fucking stole everything from Burroughs. 
but anyway. Beyonce. They're not making a John Carter do, so whatever. No, I know they're not. It's sad. I love John Carter. I mean, John Carter and Lone Ranger. And that's Lone Ranger. Go to call on Lone Ranger for one more second. So watch Lone Ranger when it came out, like opening week. No, I watched it at four dollar theater, so it was like three or four weeks. I'm like, all right. It wasn't bad. And it had got it had been getting shit on. Like just completely shit on. Like this isn't a it's a long movie. That's what I said. If they would have cut thirty minutes from this movie, it would have been a fucking yeah. Because it went from a, it would go from a two and a half hour to a two hour movie. But that's you. But you're making concessions now. Like no, no, no. I'm, I said what ifs. It was beef. No, no, no. It's not a what if. It was there was moments where I'm like, all right, this could have gotten cut out. Whatever. As a like if 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 it if I couldn't change the yeah, movie and it could exist like, or versus not existing, you're okay I'd with keep it? it existing. Yeah. But hold on, hold on. There's a point why I'm bringing this up. So I remember posting on Facebook like. Don't believe the hype. Go watch it if you want to. It's not as bad as everyone's saying. And everyone's like, ah, whatever, it's terrible, and blah, 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 right? The end of that year, Mr. Quentin Tarantino himself listed it as his, like, number eight top, or of his top ten films. Lone Ranger was, okay. like, number eight. Now you lost me. Okay. Hold on. I don't give a shit what no. Quentin Tarantino's no, best movies are. Hold on. Because he likes shitty fucking movies. Wait, Li- wait, wait. So... When Tarantino... Oh, then he, all of a sudden people start watching it. All of a sudden, oh, you know, it's not that bad. It's, it's not that bad. Right. right. And it's like, oh, what? Yeah, it takes Tarantino to fucking say I like the... Look, I'm going gonna, gonna to tell you guys something. Like, I like Tarantino. I'm a fan of his. I love Tarantino, but, but his last two movies suck. If ass. you go by his opinion on fucking movies, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking super film nerd who just listens to... You You have no opinion for yourself because he has the worst fucking taste in movies around. He loves super trashy, shitty fucking B-movies that cost $5 to make in a back alley. And he loves them. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to say, like, whatever. It's He just... He likes everything. I was just about to say he that. Likes I don't think he has everything. I don't think it's that he's he has that a bad guy, taste. He he's just He's the likes guy that everything. watches a movie and he'll find a good... He just likes... I mean, I respect that. He just that. likes movies. He's a, he period. likes movies. He's a filmmaker. He'll always find something to like. So, if like, like to say because he thought it was good doesn't... It means shit to me. Because... No, I'm know. not saying... I'm not trying to validate No, no. I'm it. saying you're, you're saying everybody else all of a sudden jumped on the bandwagon because Tarantino said it was cool. And I'm saying if that's the reason why you like stuff, then, like, fucking just stop watching films. Like, I mean, there's movies that I... Jump off a fucking cliff. <laughs> there's movies that I watch because of Tarantino that I never saw before. Yeah, like some of the foreign stuff or something. Like you know, Battle Royale. I'd never... Some, yeah, I get it. Like, there's shit. He watches so much shit. There's stuff he'll turn you on but to. But he likes everything. Yeah. I don't say he's a bad taste, but he likes... Everything, which includes. I mean, the if you like everything, you have no taste. <laughs> like your opinion is invalid because. Sounds like something we know. Yeah, exactly. Like if everything is good, then nothing is good. You know, you have to have something to compare it to. That's his, 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 his last two movies suck too. Yeah, his, I mean, well, Django was three fourths good. You know, I mean, we can. That's for sucked. another podcast. Like that's when we could have his fallout. We could have a discussion happened. like big time. Like I have some fucking theories myself. Like I do too. But okay. anyway, Beyonce. So the other thing is. She's not a fucking actress. Like, to me, okay, so, I mean, how are you going to do She-Hulk? Is, she gonna, is She-Hulk going to be, like, mostly CG? Or are you going to have, like, you know what I mean? I mean, like, they're probably going to do Guardians. Like that's they, the thing. Like I don't, did, like, is it just straight like CG Zoe where Saldana. it's just? No, they're probably going to do, they're going to paint her green. So it's like, well, then why even have Beyonce other than a fucking name? Like, what does Beyonce bring to the table that another black actress another unknown black actress could bring to the table. That's my thing. Why do you have to have Beyonce? It has nothing to do with Beyonce and her musical. I don't, like I said, I don't like Beyonce. And so maybe my opinion's coming off as biased. But at the bottom line, fine. If you want her to be black, make her black. I don't care. Which is why I try to say that right off the bat. Like, they're not, it doesn't matter. Like, the race thing doesn't matter. I brought it up that way we could throw it away immediately because it doesn't fucking matter. You can make them black. Chinese, Japanese, whatever. It doesn't I matter. I mean, you can look at like, whatever. And I mean... Because at the end of the day, it's She-Hulk, so it doesn't really matter. She-Hulk's another one of the... I mean, I heard it's not going to be a movie. It's going to be another Netflix series. And I... See, that, I... Beyonce does not need a fucking series. It's just... Why you know? Why not find an unknown? I, why not just... It sells itself. No, I, I completely agree with you. Why just, just find an unknown? You don't if need you a star. want to be black... Find another black actor. I mean, the guy, Daredevil's not a well-known guy. He was on uh, Boardwalk Empire. Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> you know? Um, but other than that, I don't, I don't remember anything else. But he's he talented. Saying. No, he's good. 
There's like a lot him. of good actors out there. I mean, Luke Cage on Jessica Jones, who I don't know. Who that <laughs> I don't know who that guy is either. You know? So it pays off. I knew Kristen Ritter. I was kind of iffy about that. Now that I watch it, I'm okay with it. But. I'm okay with it, but I didn't think she was going to be able to pull off what she did. Yeah. Not because I think she's a bad person or anything, but I I saw like, you know, Breaking she's Bad She's another one whatever. of those where like I also don't think she's that hot, so I like wanted a hotter she's actress. She's oddly hot, like a weird hot. I mean, whatever, because she's like nine feet tall. I mean, <laughs> but people no, just but like tall is, women, but... Just if you want a minority actress to play that role, find one. There's so many thirsty women no, out you. there who want to work and would love. I mean, maybe it's the thigh factor because because Beyonce's thighs. There's are, a lot of thick women out there. Her too. thighs are like so like like they're just awesome. She's got like amazing thighs, and she looks just like get like one of the, put what, some green paint on her, and she's gonna look just like the comic book she Get one of the at. fucking the the. The Williams sisters to play she You just Hulk. said, like, they're not actresses. They want to get shitty actresses to fucking get just because of, the, of their... Yeah. Get, get Serena we Williams. We can't go 100% on body type, <coughs> you know, but... My point is, though, and no, I keep no, saying No, no, I, I, I don't like, think... I, Beyonce has no business. It's all... At yeah. that point, it becomes money. No, it's, it's definitely... I'm going go, to go watch The Queen and, like, yeah, fuck that. There's, just, better, there's better choices, for sure. Just get... And I'm not even going to pretend to be a fucking She-Hulk fan. Like, I'm not, I'm not a Hulk fan. I don't know anything about She-Hulk, no. so I don't, can't even pretend it. But I know it, she's a lawyer. She's like a lawyer, and then she volunteers to get zapped with the gamma rays. Um, find a black I actress. Think. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. You want her black? Find one. They found one for what's for fucking Mary Jane. Right. They didn't go cast Raven Simone or some fucking person like that. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> it wouldn't have. No. But my, you get what I. My point is though. We got a chunko Mary Jane. <laughs> But I'm just saying. I don't apologize for body shaming. I do it all the goddamn time. Well, I think it's human nature. So fucking people out there are like, I don't bought it. Yeah, whatever. If you fucking see a fucking tub of lard walking down the street, (laughs) you're like, that bitch is fat. You might not say it. You might not say, like, that bitch is fat. But you're like, you know what? He or she needs to work out. Like, he or she needs to. Like, that's your way of saying, like, man, that fucking, that's a fat motherfucker. If you see people at the store and they're fucking on their little carts because they can't walk, fat motherfucker. That's fat shaming. Anyway. Um, it just goes back to like the taste thing. If everything is good, then nothing's good. So if everyone's beautiful. Which everyone is not beautiful. And nobody's beautiful. No one, no. That, I'm not beautiful. So I'd fucking disprove that theory 100%. Um, but what do you think? What's your opinion? I, oh, I, she has, I mean, I don't even have to say anything about it. Like, I don't, I don't care <coughs> if they want to, you know. I mean, I think. Would you watch it? I mean, I'd rather they cast, if they're going to go, like, ethnic, I'd rather they cast a Latina, you know, because she could still pull off. Like, there's she a lot of Latinas out there. She related to Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, because Mark Ruffalo looks like a fucking beaner, even though he's Italian. <laughs> he dude, does. If, that, if Mark Ruffalo starts speaking Spanish tomorrow, I'd be like, okay, right, yeah. I buy it. I buy it. Like. Yeah, it's, it's the same. It's he's the like same Sicilian way. or something. He's like he's. It's he's, the same way Oscar Isaac can play, play off as like a Jew or an Italian or anything like that. Right. Even though he's not, he's right. Hispanic to the T. But people don't know that because like he can play because they look the same. Yeah. No, and I and it's time. Like, there's how many brown people do we have in the MCU right now? Like, I'm trying to think. Uh, the the guy in Ant Man, uh, I love him. What's his name? I haven't seen Ant Man, but the dude, the I, Mexican guy, the Mexican guy who plays fucking Arabs yeah, but he's American like he, he plays a stereotypical Mexican in the fuck. He's like, hey, saw his K homes. Like my cousin was at this party, and I heard him saying this and then that and that. Like he talks like that. He's like, yeah, fool, that's crazy, fool. Like, he's totally like he's a. Uh, he's well, a, then who else? Let's see who else. I mean, that's like that's an actual like character character. No, I know who none. Else? I think that is the oh, only Zoe one. Oh, Zoe Saldana. But she doesn't play Which Hispanic. Which was an alien. Um, and then Dave Bautista, but he's, he's doesn't half, play Hispanic. No, and he's half Filipino anyways. He's not. But he doesn't play Hispanic anyway. It doesn't matter. Fuck, a Bautista is the biggest Filipino on the fucking planet. I've never I mean, let's, seen Let's go through the list. of, of So Captain America's white. Benicio Del Toro plays a collector. He's on screen for 30 seconds. And he, I don't even think he's going to be in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. Right. But I mean, who else? Iron Man's white. Obviously, um, you have Hulk is white, Black Widow's white, um, Thor is white. Thor is white. He's an alien, but he's white. Who else? Iron Man. Uh, John Favreau's character's white, because John Favreau's white. I'm just trying to think of like fucking people. Mickey Rourke's white. Uh, 
Jeff Bridges is white. I'm saying there's no brown people. I'm just trying to think of minorities. Yeah. Well, Falcon. Okay, and he's a psych. Oh, and uh, and uh, Iron Man's. Oh, uh, War Machine. War Machine. Okay, so there's two black people. That's two. I'm just saying, like, and they're sidekicks. I'm saying we are clo- closely approaching. <coughs> you know, we're becoming the uh, majority minority. What's it called? This, we are the major, majority. Not minority. yet. Not yet. We're getting there, though. Like, We're the, <laughs> like by, but in the next 20 years, there's a pretty Hispanics good chance. will be the majority, but they'll still be considered minorities. Yeah. Um, and we are not seeing that transition on the, on the screen at all, which is fine. Whatever. Like, we, we talk about that another day. But, I mean, I'm saying if, we're gonna, if we're, she's not going to be white, like, I don't know. Find a brown chick. There's more. Salma Hayek's got nice thighs. Selma Hayek would be great, or the other boobs one. Boobs will fit too. She'll actually have comic book boobs. The other, the other one uh, too. I who I fucking love, uh, Penelope Cruz. No, why not? She's not even Latina. She's not. No, she's from Spain. She's fucking European. She's white. Oh yeah, so she's Hispanic. She's not Hispanic. Well, I guess technically she's That's she's why I said Hispanic. She's, she's Hispanic. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I'm not gonna. I, I, I won't. She's European. Like, That's why I said okay. I'll, I'll, I want to clarify something for you people. If someone is from Spain. They are not one of us. They're not white. that I have anything against Spanish people, but they are they are just as white as someone from France, Norway, England. Like I mean, on the coast, yeah, some of them have darker skin because of the the Moors. Africa. So they're like Mediterranean, um, in you the know, Middle East. But they're still they're European. They consider themselves European too. They yep. do not. They do not associate. With, they do with not brown. associate. They 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 they'll associate with us when they're over here because we speak Spanish. That's it, you know, and they're like, oh, okay, they speak Spanish, like we can we can communicate with each other, but they're not trying to hang, you know, they are not down for the the, the cause. Uh, that's enough of that. Uh, Beyonce, no, I don't want her in the MCU. Uh, yeah, we don't have any we don't have any opposition to racial casting or anything like that. I don't give a shit. I want the best actor and the best looking actor on top of that. See, that's- I don't care about looks as much as Gian does, but I do want the best actor. But I mean, it, at the end of like, Beyonce is a name to me, and she. I mean, maybe she's it's not maybe, necessary. Like maybe whatever she, you put, maybe, if she, it's maybe a Nef- she would be great. Maybe she would be if great. If it's a Netflix show, it does not matter who you put. People are watching because the Netflix shows have been so good. Yeah, the, the, they don't care. And they like, don't care that the kid from Mighty Ducks is now playing Fozzie on Daredevil. All right. The kid with the killer slap shot who couldn't skate at first and didn't <coughs> learn how to skate and became a goon, you know. And then in D2, the other goon, and they became goon brothers. I'm just saying. I'm saying. That if Beyonce, if, if Beyonce became She-Hulk. And the fat black kid from Good Burger who's now on SNL. Oh, Kel? With the knuckle puck. Or Keenan? I don't know. I don't always forget which is which. Actually, was it him? Am I confusing my fat black guys? I think you are. Okay, comment. I don't know. I haven't comment. seen D2. Is that is that Kel? No, it's Kel. Kel's the guy with the dreads. I don't. I, I don't. Keenan. I think it's Keenan. Was Keenan? Was Keenan in Mighty Ducks too? We have smartphones. We need a poll. Yes or no? That's that's, yeah. that's the question of the week. Am I confusing my chubby black kids? But it's just Beyonce could kill it, and I could be wrong. I'm still not gonna like her in the role. That's not gonna change my opinion. She could be the greatest thing that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has ever seen and blows people away. And, like, what's her name? Ava, who directed the um, Martin Luther King movie. Maybe she directs She-Hulk. And it's, like, a black empowerment film, and it's great and everything. Like, Oscar nominated. Like, still not going to change my opinion that they could have found a black actress. Right. Unless they're going to change She-Hulk to be a singer... Who becomes She-Hulk, or Beyonce becomes She-Hulk? Like that's like the world we live in. Bro, where like Goldberg from Mighty Ducks has lost hell of weight. All right. But anyway, that's my point. It doesn't matter. I if, was right. It was Keenan. It is Keenan. Okay. All right. But my point is, it doesn't matter how great it turns out. They can still find an unknown because that's the problem with Hollywood is they don't find unknowns, and then sometimes they find the like the small like. Sometimes they blow up and they become knowns. They don't I mean, take chances. It makes sense. Chris it's Hemsworth. What was Chris Hemsworth in? He's awesome. 
<laughs> I like Chris. He's I like, fucking I like perfect Liam, too. Door. I like both brothers. I don't know shit about Liam, but... I mean, I'm just saying, like... Chris the, Hemsworth was like, that's perfect Thor right there. I don't know. I usually like blonde dudes, but that blonde guy... Their first wave... Hot. I, their first wave of casting, I feel like, was on point. Downey Jr. Yeah. Um, Captain America. Uh, Thor. Obviously, Hulk was supposed to be Edward Norton who I still think is, was fine for nah. the moment. He was for the a moment, shitty Bruce Banner. They, for the moment. I kind of like, I like Mark Ruffalo. But no, Mark Ruffalo is a good yeah. replacement. Um, but it is what it is. Obviously, we have no control over that. So it's going to be what it's going to be. All right. All right, we got to wrap this up. So let's, uh, let's before, we, uh, before we finish this, Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Yeah, this is the last topic of the night. I'm San Francisco 49ers fan, born and raised. My parents actually assimilated from Puerto Rico by supporting the very first uh, 49ers championship team. They like they had just moved to San Francisco. Joe Montana was there. Like the city was crazy because we hadn't won a champ. San Francisco had never won a championship. I mean, people are gonna argue that yeah, the uh, the Warriors won a championship in 1976, but. They were still technically at the Coliseum. I mean, they played at the Cow Palace for a little bit, but they belonged to Oakland Coliseum. So the city of San Francisco itself, as far as I know, had never won like a legitimate championship. The Giants had never won a championship at that point. So the 49ers winning the Super Bowl was big. And my parents <laughs> just moved to San Francisco and were there for that. And because of that, like my family has this love for the 49ers that uh, other people don't. I mean, there's a significance behind it, you know. We, they embraced it. Cause embraced it, was... it cuz it was like, well, okay, we're in America, everyone's excited. Like it helped them become a part not necessarily of America, but a part of San Francisco. My parents right. to this day love the city of San Francisco because of those experiences and because it's a great fucking city. But that's for something that's for another argument. Um Colin Kaepernick uh is the fallen star quarterback of the Niners right now so much potential too like see I was never on the Kaepernick bandwagon I thought he was a flash in the pan from the get I saw he's his, like Puig but I, I mean, mean he it has was his skill set he, I mean he has a skill set the guy he's fast he has a cannon for an arm um he run. He, I mean that's the fast part oh okay. he's athletic he's a super he's a super athlete and he did some he did some crazy shit in a quarterback position, but just like every other quarterback that plays that style of football, they don't last. They don't last. They they fall apart. Something RG, happens. What's his name? I was gonna say RGB. RG three. RG three. RG three. I mean Michael Vick. Michael Vick. You know. Well, do you do you feel like if Michael Vick didn't go to prison, that he would have fallen the same? Like still would have. I mean, there's a possibility that he would have been able to turn it around, because in Atlanta he was he was. Was in, he already declining when he? No, went no. To jail? I feel like he was improving. I, think going, I don't remember. Going to prison messed things up. I think Michael Vick, he's kind of an anomaly because even to this day, he can, he's still fast as fuck. But at some point, you got to learn how to – the only successful quarterbacks are the ones that learn how to sit back in the pocket and throw the ball, and he never, he never could grasp that. I mean – The dude from the dude from the Seahawks, is, doesn't he, isn't he a runner? Russell Wilson? He was, he's not a run. He can run, but he's not a run first guy. Like Aaron Rodgers is a runner. He can run fast. Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck is like the prototypical. Like everybody <coughs> wants Andrew Luck to be their quarterback. He runs a four five forty. He's an that. athlete, but it's always throw first. It's always eyes down the field, throw the ball, run as a last resort. Aaron Rodgers the same thing. Aaron, you know, a lot of people make the argument that Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback of the NFL. I love Aaron Rodgers. Oh, um, but uh, Kaepernick, I saw like he 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 came in at the right time. They handed him the keys. To a Ferrari. And he's rich now. Oh, he's rich. Yeah, absolutely. And he had some success with the, with the Ferrari. But unfortunately, the rest of the league caught up to him. The rest of the league saw, like, they scouted him. They learned how. They figured him out. That's the best way of putting it. They, they figured him out, um, and he could not adjust to that. That's them. what I was going to say. When you don't adapt, you. No. That's Puig. Yasiel Puig. Raw talent. And then the league's like, all right. We'll pitch whatever, whatever, whatever. And if he doesn't make those adjustments, you're out. Yeah, you're done. You're done. But, uh, I so mean. yeah, explain what happened this weekend. So We're still in preseason, so right? So we're in a preseason game, and <coughs> the, the, the national anthem was up at the beginning of the game, like they do every game, and Kaepernick decides he's going to sit down. He's not going to stand up. And then when they ask him, why did you stand up for the national anthem, he says, 
because I'm not going to stand up and support a country that, you know, has oppressed black people and other people of color for so many years and people are like lying dead in the streets and cops are getting away with suspensions and, you know, I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but. And then the 49ers released a statement. Saying he could do whatever he wants. Like, saying like, we as a team, we support the country and like we're, you know, we blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, we also respect his right to do what he, do as he wishes and you know, we're not gonna like reprimand him or anything like that. So that was like the team's official statement. Now before I say anything, I wanna know what your opinion on the situation is. Um, or if it is even a situation at all. I, you know what? I feel like, <coughs> I feel like this country is about what he's doing. Like he has a right. He has the right to not to if, if that's his form of protest, he has a right to do that. And whatever, like if is his message gonna come across? Probably not. So maybe it's not the best for his brand, but maybe he really believes in it. I I'm on the fence. I kind of think he's a he's kind of a social media diva. So it might be he knows that he's This is the guy who like posts pictures with him with yeah. like all of his shit. Yeah, he's like, I mean I think I'm more upset that women find him attractive when he looks like fucking, he looks like Gonzo and the Mr. Squidward, Squidward from, SpongeBob. you know, just because he has a six pack. So it goes like, oh my God, he's so hot. It's like, no, that's what is, I need for Tinder. He is I need not, you need a six, a six pack. pack. That's what you need. Okay. Cause that dude is not, he is not a handsome man. He's also tall. And like, right so. now he is tall. And like right now he looks like a fucking homeless man. <laughs> Like his, he like at least before he used to have his hair lined up, but now he's got this crazy fucking, <laughs> like homeless napped up shit on his head, and he's got this fucking like Fisher Price my first beard going on, like, you know, fuck, he got a patch right here and then one right there, like, you know, I'm just saying, like, you know, I mean, I mean he looks like he's depressed, he's upset about something, uh, you know, and it's probably because he sucks at football. <laughs> That's what so now is. he's trying to focus. I thought they were gonna cut him. I now, thought. I, was, I thought him. they were too because they, if they cut them by a certain point, they, they were going to save pay $14 million. Dollars. Yeah, I mean, they, they would have to pay him like $5 million. But, I mean, but now they're on the, the hook for country. 19 Right. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I'm not really upset by it. Like, whatever. Like, I don't care. I don't care. And I know there's people that are, like, super offended by it, and especially, especially veterans. Like, oh, he's disrespecting me. He's not disrespecting you. It has nothing to do... I mean, the one thing I have to say, he's donated a lot of his money to veteran groups. Like, he's very supportive of the military guys. He's not supportive of their bosses. <coughs> I mean, that's his message. He doesn't support your boss, but he supports you. It's the system. It's not you know? the people. And, it's like, people, system. like, you take it so offensive. Like, this, like, this belongs to me. Like, it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to all of us, and we're all allowed to do shit the way we want to. And, I mean, I, I hate to put it that way, but... You know, I respect my, my whole family was in the military, you know, but I feel like my dad, my dad put in 30 years. He, he doesn't give two shits. You know what I mean? My brother, on the other hand, it might upset him a little more because he's a little more patriotic, but you know, it's all the same people. It's the same people like super gun owners. They're the, they're the same people getting upset about it. Like, I don't, I don't equate the flag with, I feel like he worded his protest wrong. Because he said the country. And it's like, it's not the country you should be protesting. It's the system. It's, it's the not. government. And maybe if you said, you know, this government, the people that govern us, and this is my form of protestation, which, whatever, it's a song. You know what I mean? Right. You know. No, I know. And, and you know, our, our veterans, you know, I respect what you guys are doing because you, like, how am I, I going to put this? You're doing something you believe in, and you feel like you're doing this for your country. And you feel like this is your, you're committing your, your time and your body because you love your country so much. And I respect that. Um, what I can't really get on board is when people are like, you fought for my freedom. You fought for my rights to do this and this and that. Because, I mean, if we want to get technical and this might get, I might catch some shit for this, we have not been in a war in my lifetime or your lifetime or a lot of our peers' lifetimes that have had any effect on the American way of life. No. We have not been invaded by anyone 
since the English in the second when the when the England tried to take back the U.S. Conspiracy theorists would say that the Japanese, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. No, 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 no. Like off the coast of California. You know? Oh, oh, okay. I'm just yeah. I'm not kidding. Like people fucking say that because they've said it to right. me. But it's like, all right, shut the fuck up. Right. They didn't invade the homeland. The like, U.S. has not been invaded in over <laughs> 200 years. I mean, Vietnam, but we weren't alive. That's your point. No, no, no. We but but alive. Vietnam, the Vietnamese didn't inv- invade. No, but, but the war affected the returning troops coming home. Yeah, but that didn't affect the way of life, the American way of oh, life. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, they weren't fighting for freedom. The Vietnam, the, the Vietnam War troops were fighting. I mean, this is my conspiracy theory. Vietnam is rich with minerals and natural resources. And the U.S. wanted. They said that they're trying to stop communism. They wanted yeah, to get this. Just fuck, like they, they wanted to get these resources. The, like it's an Middle attack East. on resources. So you've been killing these people that are sacked. They're they're volunteer. Well, back then it was a draft. Um, so there's people that didn't want to go that are not fucking super gung ho soldiers. Going, no, and they if died. I, if I was drafted right now, I would not go. Throw me in prison. I don't give a fuck because I am not going. First of all, I'm fat, so I make sure to get extra fat. So they're not gonna <laughs> want me. And then if you force me to basic, I'm not doing shit. Like, I'm not doing shit. You can court more. Like, that's because that's my right to not do shit because that's my thing. So that's so that's your stance. My stance is very similar. And I brought all this up because, I mean, I read the article. I think this happened yesterday or Friday or something. Friday, yeah. And when I read it, I'm like, why now? That was like my first thing was like, dude, you've been in football for a while now, not like 10, 15 years, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you've made enough money to where like, you could have put yourself out there, you know, whatever. And it's kind of like interesting, like you said, he's not doing so well. So I'm not saying that's why he's doing it. I'm not saying that. But he wasn't doing this when he was hot, is my point. Right. right? But maybe he had a change of heart. Maybe, you know, people change. Yeah, no, maybe. And people, people like him, not him specifically, but people who have money, who are powerful are the ones who need to be saying things because me, you, we say these, we might believe exactly what he believes in. We, what we say it on a podcast, who are we going to reach? Even if we had 10,000 subscribers, yeah, it doesn't matter. No, I understand. Like he's, but at the, so, but my thing is this, and I don't give a shit putting anyone on front street. I don't care. Cousin posted something yesterday about, you know, um, I should just read it. But the, the, basically what he said is, I don't understand. Like, he's a shitty... Like, he started talking about it. Like, his shittiness as a quarterback, and he shouldn't be saying this stuff, right? And I don't care about it. And I responded to him, like, well, you basically cared enough to, like, respond... Like, to post about it, essentially, what I was saying. Right. right? And then, you know, and my cousin sits on the right, of side of politics, which is fine. I, I have plenty of friends who, who are Republican, and I don't judge. Um, he said, Colin Kaepernick cashing $19 million checks, and you're worried about the oppressed. LOL, come on, man. And I said it got you talking about it. And he says, I truly care less about the opinion of a professional quarterback. It's the statement and the way, he li- the way of life he lives. If people don't enjoy living here, leave. It's that simple. So... And that's the type of mentality that I don't agree with. No, because absolutely Because that's not. the backwards ass thinking that they don't understand. And I, and well, I, that's what th- I mean. That's it. The, that's what this country was founded on. Like, hundred percent. I can live here and fucking. That's the great thing about the U.S. is I could talk all the shit I want to about the government, about the way fucking people are, about the way things are, and not have to worry about dying. Exactly. I might lose my job. I might, like, make lose some fucking friends. Have a shitty way friends, of life. But, but I'm not going to fucking die, and, and I'm not going to go to jail. And that's what the U.S. is about. So telling people, like, if they don't like it, they can go somewhere else is just the stupidest thing I've ever so fucking, fucking heard. It's so fucking retarded. Because they're not saying, I fucking, it's, it's like... It's like you move to, to Tulsa, Oklahoma for a job. And you're like, I hate Tulsa. Everything in Tulsa fucking sucks. Then I understand, well, then move out of Tulsa, you know. But you're still an American. So but you're you still, still in America. Right but when you're it. like, I don't like the way the government does this shit. I don't like this, this, or that, you know. 
well, then why don't you move out? It's not the same because, no, it's we, fucking I mean, your right is to protest. And that's like, that's the most American thing to do is to is to complain and protest about the government. I, I don't know. I, so so he went and my, me and my cousin got into it. And I said, well, I personally never stand for the national anthem. I guess I should be packing my bags because I don't don't stand for the national anthem for similar reasons, not because of colored people, but just because for one, I don't need to do that shit. When I was younger, like, that's what you're taught to do. You know, you stand, you take your cap off, you do all that shit, whatever. I don't do that. Not because I'm late. I just don't believe in it. We don't live in a fascist state where, and that's kind of where my point we're getting at here is, like, they were saying, because I said, I told him, I never, um, he said to me, if that's your choice and that's your choice, I'm just proud to be an American, which is what you were saying. Like, all of a sudden, I'm not American because I won't stand up. And then I, I told him, well, I'm proud to be an American too, which is why I don't stand up. I enjoy practicing my freedoms. And then people he knows started commenting, saying the veterans thing. Well, I'm glad you like to be disrespectful to the veterans. And like, my peop- my grandpa fought in World War II, and my da da, and I lost my this and the limbs and the blah blah blah. And it's like I I'm mean, not disrespecting them. If I had a face to face, I would like you said, I would say thank you. What you do is what you believe in, and I respect it, and it's admirable, but, but what you work for, the people you work for, don't represent my ideals. And the only places that exist where I would be arrested for not standing up is fucking Nazi Germany. Like, you don't salute the flag, you're going to jail. This is a Nazi Germany. And that's like the mentality where it's like, oh, you don't, you're not American. Like, fuck you, I am American. That's my whole point. Because I don't need to stand. Like I said before, I don't understand why, where the flag and the national anthem are, and the military it's 50s is, thinking. are mutually exclusive. Like, it's not, it's not the same thing. I mean, I, 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 I don't. I'm a traditionalist. I stand to the, the... I used to, and then I don't. I stopped. Know, I'm not making a protest. Like, it doesn't... I, I, it's not that big a deal to me. I don't, I don't... Whatever. Like, I'm not... I'm not out there on the front lines protesting. I'm not an activist no, I'm, I'm not either... But I'm just saying, um, I'm going to sit there and text because I don't give a shit about standing up. Okay. Because well, that's it your right to do so. It doesn't, it doesn't for me, it you doesn't... fucking make, hippie. <laughs> no, and people, I may rub people the wrong way, but I don't give a shit because that's my right. It's like, it's like saying to the gun owners, like you brought up, oh, we're going to take your guns and they're up in our... Right. Oh, no, it's a God-given right to like have my guns. Oh, but it's not my God-given right to fucking not stand up to salute the flag. Like that's the that's yeah. the trade-off. It's like guns across the board. Constitutional right, actually. Well, they say guns are God-given rights. Okay, well. But my point is, my there point ain't no is, no guns in the fucking Bible, so. Because <laughs> guns didn't exist. I mean, I guess David had a slingshot. <laughs> but, I mean, Should've, I guess that's the precursor for a gun, right? That is a gun. The fucking catapults when they're <laughs> fucking shooting boulders into the size of castles or whatever well they're stories they're, they're make-believe right that's, that's what happens but anyway that's my whole thing is it's just like you know i fucking hate hate being told that i'm not american because i don't do traditional vow like that's just so backwards because it's like it's just like the syrian refugee things it's like we don't want them here oh yeah except the people who say that are fucking white and they don't belong here because this isn't their country. And I use quotes because, of course, they belong here. That's what we're founded upon. Like, you know what I mean? We all belong here. It's a nation of immigrants. It's a nation of immigrants. But, I mean, if you want to take a step back and, like, take a stance on what's true to history, white people don't belong here. This is not a Dutch colony. We don't belong here. It's a native land that we came and killed everyone and took. But we forget that. We forget that. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but I'm just saying. It's like, that's the truth. Like, if you want to leave the country, it should be the people who are saying that I should leave. Those are the people who should not be here. Okay. That's my Fair thing. Enough. They're They're the most anti-un-American, I mean, anti-American for me, because they want to limit my rights more than anything right. else. Right. That's, that's all I'm no, saying. No, yeah. No, I get it. Well... Fuck Colin Kaepernick. Anyways, he's a shitty quarterback. He's not going to be on the team. This, I mean, maybe they're, he won't be on the team next year, and we won't fucking ever hear about him again. Um, no, that's for sure. You know, but while he's making the money, you really want to, like, <coughs> you, you, you want to help people. You want to you wanna 
What's the word I'm looking for? Fuck, I'm, I am. My hangover is like, it's catching up to me right now. Uh, if you want to make an impact, Colin Kaepernick, then set up a charity. Yep. Donate half your check. Hell, donate the all whole of your fucking check. check. Donate I mean, all 19 million. Your fucking adopted parents are white as fuck. So you're I, also rich as fuck right so now. So I'm assuming they helped you invest your money wisely. You know, might be wrong, but uh, from what I read, they're well off. Um, so, you know, because that's 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 the ultimate form. I mean, that's what Warren Buffett's doing. That's what Lucas is doing. That's what all these billionaires are doing. They donate. What's most that of- word called when you stop working? Philanthropist. Yeah, they become, become one a, of those. Whenever I see someone's like title as philanthropist, I just say rich as fuck. That's based. Yeah. I think that's what the definition is. Rich as fuck in and, the book and the, bored in Oxford's dictionary. Right. So you don't think Kaepernick's gonna become the Tim Lincecum of the 49ers? What make a comeback? Yeah. No. Tim Lincecum didn't make a comeback. Well, he kind of played for the no. Angels. Yeah, he played for the <laughs> Angels. I mean, he's gonna. I like, think he's gonna. He, I don't know if he's he, still playing. He he got went on the DL. Again, I think. He's, oh, he went to Triple I think he's he's done. He's done. He's done. But. I picked him up on my fantasy team for the first game because I knew he'd pitch the first game. Right. He did and five then, innings. And then I dropped him. I didn't even wait till the next game. I just dropped him. Right. But whatever. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, so, for the next... Well, the next couple of podcasts, we might be doing things a little different. I think uh, Daniel <coughs> saw to, to Hell or High Water. He wants to discuss it. He might bring on someone on his own to discuss that. Um, just like a straight movie, little mini podcast. We'll see. I don't know. Like, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I am going to Dallas for the USC Alabama home opening game. I might do a little college football sidecast from Dallas with my cousin. Um, not 100% sure about that, but it's a, it's a possibility. So if you guys want to hear us talk shit about college football, something I'm very passionate about myself, um, then uh, yeah, it'll be up. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Let's see. Okay, so oh, yeah, let's wrap it all, all up. the bullshit. Fucking Daniel and Gian talk on Facebook. Is it A and D or is it the and sign? Because it's a so, major difference. Um, you mean in the name? Well, it's facebook.com slash D N, the letter N G talk. Okay. So that's a Facebook group. Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, which is at D N G podcast. Follow us on Instagram, Instagram, which you could just type in D N G talk. We'll come up. But um, it's at D N G talk at D N G talk. Uh, yeah. We're on iTunes now. We're on iTunes. S-D- like we said earlier. And sign, right? G talk. It's Daniel and Gian Talk. Okay. That's what the show's called. Okay, on iTunes, on iTunes. we're on Stitcher. We're uh, on Stitcher, also the same thing, Daniel and Gian. YouTube's a little more complicated because we... We need 100 subscribers, We need guys. 100 subscribers. We have, we're at 20, <coughs> I think, right now, or 20 to 25. So if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, and you haven't subscribed Hopefully to you're us, watching it on YouTube. Yes. Subscribe to us so we can get our URL and turn it into youtube.com slash... DNG talk. DNG talk. We're not there yet. It's some fucked up. So you have to put in D and sign G talk to find us on YouTube because I had some trouble finding us on YouTube. If you put and, if you put A and D, you're not going to find us. So it's got to be D and sign G talk and you'll find us on YouTube. Subscribe. Um, where else are we? Well, I think that's it. That covers all the bases. And if you, we're still on SoundCloud. Yeah, we're still on SoundCloud. And you can still find us on the website, dngtalk.com. Yeah, that's. At the last resort, go to DNG Talk. And you can find That's all the links there. Yep, everything. Um, and uh, yeah, we uh, hope to uh, talk to each other soon. Um, I don't know. What, 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 uh, What's next? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know when you're going to I mean, it depends on when up. my friends, like, we, we might do the Nate Parker thing next week or the next major one we do. We'll have, like, a, a, a little panel going. Um, I don't know I what mean, movies are coming out. I mean, I'm going out. to watch. Gian watched Don't Breathe today. I couldn't watch it this weekend. Um, we but need I'm to talk about Don't Breathe. I'm we gonna need watch to talk tomorrow. about the Get Down. I'm going to watch Don't Breathe tomorrow. I need to watch Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. It's on Amazon Prime, so you can watch it all the first season. Right. Um, I will watch Get Down, so whenever that next one is. If you watch Mr. Robot, we'll definitely have something to talk about, because now I'm getting heated It's again. a hot-button subject. For all me, right. it is. And you'll know why, too. As soon as you see it, you'll be like, all right, I know why he doesn't like okay, it. Okay, okay. 
Anyways, uh, but that's it for this week, for this episode. Uh, it's a long one. It's a super, it's a super beefy. It's our episode. longest one yet. So uh, see you guys soon. I'm out. Take care. Fight on. Later, bitches.